Well, this episode is going to be loud as shit. We're doing this live from a f***ing nuclear generator. Yeah, from f CERN. Yeah. It's an excavator. Hopefully the internet doesn't go out. Just matter. Every fucking week, new movies get released. How does anyone ever see these? There are too many movies. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies, family. Hello. This week on There Are Too Many Movies, we watch Love Lies Bleeding. But before we talk about that, we're going to talk about what we've been watching. I'm Chris Collins, and this is Vivian. Hard Rock Vivian. Dude, fuck yeah. Josh, heel Josh Rodriguez. Dude, sick. I right. like your intro music. Thanks, man. That was cool. I'm Alex. Hey, dude, you know what? Fuck you. No! Alex Louisiana Fast Wilson. Just a little phrase I came up with. Louisiana Fast! What does that mean? It just means I'm like a real fast dude. Like, if you're like, you know, like. Do we, ha- do we have to Google it? Is that why? No, just like, just, go- no, don't Google it. I'm just a fast guy. That's it. It's just a cool phrase I came up with myself. Love that chicken from Papa. Wait, did they take that from me? Holy shit. Those pieces of shit. Cease and desist in back. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Damn. Are you fucking with me? Dude, that's pretty good. That's your theme now? Yeah, that's my... <laughs> <laughs> the heel Josh like... <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> and I'm like... Just saunter down there. <laughs> <laughs> Walk out like Joe Biden like, where am I? <laughs> Louisiana fast. And he just misses the whole stage. <laughs> Gunk. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hey, five bucks a month on Patreon if you want to support your local on the internet podcast. <laughs> or don't. I don't give a shit. Yeah, fuck you. Wait, Tell no. him, Heal Josh. Yeah, fucking it's absolute haymakers from dude. Heal Josh, dude. Dude, go to heck. Go to heck and then give us five bucks a month. Yeah. On Patreon, you get a bonus episode, you get uh, a monthly episode, a weekly episode. Uh, and you get access to the Discord with watch the main parties. draw. Yeah, with watch parties. Join our little cinema. We, we got a we got a book club now. We, yeah, you know we should do a book club where we all read one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm down for that. Uh, book club. <laughs> Immediately drop the idea. <laughs> I don't we should know. do ah fuck it. <laughs> Books, music, movies, video games, fucking working out. You want to work out with us? Fucking work out with us. Tell us what you're doing. Food, foodies. <laughs> Talking about fucking garbage shit you're eating all day yeah. every day, and then we go work out afterwards. That's how we do it. You go somewhere pretty and take a photo. We got us. We got a channel we got for that photography channel. Anyways, come just talk to us. We're lonely. Come yeah. hang out in the Discord. Five bucks a month on Patreon. Let's fucking go. That's about it. What else you guys? What What have you guys been watching? Oh, we're looking at me. Okay, <laughs> fine. I guess I'll go first. Uh, okay, fine <laughs> then, dude. I tried, I tried, I attempted 12 Monkeys. Mm. Oh, yeah. 1995, Terry Gilliam starring Bruce Willis. Um, gotta say, didn't like this one at all. Brad Pitt joint, right? Oh, yeah, Brad Pitt, Bruce Willis. Uh, this is fucking boring as shit. Were dude. there even any monkeys in it? N- uh, barely any dude, monkeys at all. Fuck? It's a, it's, it's a human, or it's an existence of fucking civilization where we live underground, the animals take over the world, dude. 12 Monkeys is a prequel to 12 Angry Men. Yeah, yeah, it, is, yeah. it is. Please it is. clap. Please clap. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, honestly, that was a good one. Thank good. you. Good joke. Um, yeah, I was bored. I was on my phone for the whole fucking thing, basically. Yeah, it didn't, didn't suck you in? Didn't suck me at all, dude. Damn. And I guess I'm just not a big Terry Gilliam fan. I, I haven't really seen a whole bunch of his shit before. Didn't Fear, you do and, Fear loathing? and Loathing? Yeah. And I like that movie okay, but it's... Yeah. This just didn't really hit. I've been seeing it since high school. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those ones Same. that doesn't age well, and then you just cringe your way through it. And this is one of those regretful buys. I bought the Steelbook for this one, and mm. uh, that, I'm selling that one. Yeesh. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm taking that back to Walmart. If another you know another I mean. blind I, buy. Yeah. I used to love Time Bandits by him when I was a kid, but looking back, that's probably also aged horribly. It's also in the Criterion Collection. Yeah, they just added it. <laughs> Yeah, recently. So it must be good. So it must be great. So take that back. Yeah, Josh, it's in Criterion. It's It's in Criterion. You have to pretend to like it. But honestly, it shouldn't even... uh, 12 Monkeys should not be on my watch list. I really didn't even watch the whole fucking thing. I was bored. Uh, But I did watch something I really fucking liked, dude. Blue Velvet. 2008's Doubt. Ooh. Nice. Philip Seymour Hoffman, Amy Adams, Meryl Streep, Viola Davis, or Viola Davis. You love a Catholic conspiracy movie. You do. I love a Catholic conspiracy movie. Shot by one Roger Deakins. I didn't know really? that. I was surprised as well. 
It doesn't have his like signature look on it, really, does it? It's it's vibey. It's yeah. vibey, very natural light, heavy, and hmm. it's good. Like going back again, I'm like, oh, I do love the look of this movie now that I saw the name Roger Deakins. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but dude, it's a fucking acting masterclass. It is fucking so good. Mm-hmm. Fucking stacked as shit with top tier actors. Stacked as shit, and then Meryl Streep is just eating the whole. She fucking ate the whole thing. Shouts to Meryl Streep in the movie Doubt. Uh, Amy Adams is really good, but she's kind of outshined by both Meryl Streep and then Phil Seymour Hoffman, who's perfect. Just just absolutely perfect. <laughs> I didn't touch him. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do it. And she's like, I didn't Doubt. Do <laughs> <laughs> Doubt. Credits roll. <laughs> Credits roll. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? That's funniest. the funniest way to play that game. <laughs> yeah. To just be so paranoid the whole time. <laughs> Just accuse everybody. Yeah, and yeah. There's good cop, bad cop. I'll be cop. right eventually. Too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just rolling the dice every time. Yeah. <laughs> Critical failure. Fuck. Just kill them all and then no one will get hurt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just killing someone who's like, I bet the murder stop. And then they don't. They're like, all right, fuck. I got to kill them. Yeah. How are we supposed to know? Yeah. Um, but Doubt starring uh, Phil Seymour Hoffman is a fucking banger. Hardly nowhere. Uh, check it out wherever you can find it. I had to rent that bad boy, but I need to own it on blu-ray you know what i'm saying nice. does amy adams give a mean hand job to philip seymour hoffman over a no, sink in this movie she does not one of the very few uh hand jobless amy adams performances that really sucks dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he fucking he comes like he has a heart attack <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she must fucking have, she became must a rib dude you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> a whole organ <laughs> came out of his penis <laughs> <laughs> a kidney stone yeah. and his like kidney came out. No more hooch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No more of that boy's hooch. No more hooch. No more of that. We're gonna take no over the world. <laughs> <laughs> what if no it, more hooch. What if like a whole bucket of milk just hit like the mirror, like <laughs> like a practical effect? Someone just went <laughs> and just cut immediately. Boogie Nights too. Boogie Nights. <laughs> Fucking scary movie cut. It's like the weirdest yeah. thing in like a very serious movie. Just a bucket of cum. <laughs> hey, it's a stylistic choice. <laughs> Uh, and then I finish it off with uh, one of my favorite movies of ever of all fucking time, 2017's Phantom Thread, directed Ooh. by Paul Thomas Anderson. PTA. One mm. of the greatest fucking movies ever of all time. Let's go. I love this movie with every fiber of my being, dude. This You're is a hungry a, boy. I'm a hungry boy. This is a five star out of five star. Ten star out of ten star, front to back, back to front. Perfect film. Where's your gun? Where's, Where's your, your gun? <laughs> Are you a, an assassin here to ruin my day? Are you here to kill me? You here to kill me? Do you have a gun? Stop it! Where is your gun? Where is your gun? Stop it! Stop this! Stop this! this. Where's your gun? (laughs) Where's your gun? Stop being a child. Where's your gun? Stop. Great performance. They're fucking perfect, dude. Just check out Phantom Thread. It's it is fucking beautifully shot. It is my favorite PTA movie, hands down. I could Mm -hmm. easily see that. Yeah. PTA has a very romanticized relationship with like love and like and arguments, arguments, but like running and love. Yeah, like there's he's a romantic, very sure. much so. Where it's like this, like punch drunk love, and like this are are very mm. like the woman turned him upside down, yeah, yeah. type of shit. And I love that, pizza. Though. I love that. Yeah, same. Licorice pizza, same fucking thing. Lots of running, Best. except it's questionable because there's an age difference. Shut oh, the fuck shut up! The- it's, <laughs> hey, guess what? It's fucking fiction. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. If anything, he took advantage of her. He was a fucking swindler. He was. Anyways, back to Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's son, right? It is. It is, yeah. That boy's riz the fuck up. More Honestly? like liquor is pizza. Uh, dude. Fucking please clap. Please clap. Hold for generator. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not bad. Okay. Liquor riz. The guy that has to explain <laughs> all of his puns. Fuck like, you. Liquor riz pizza. Ooh. You know what? I Honestly, I nailed now. that. Oh, sorry. Were you heel joshing me? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you, you there, dude. buddy. Not dude. A good, you know what? Not a good pun. Unhand me, you brute. <laughs> Unhand me, you brute. Uh, dude, Phantom Thread. Just fucking so goddamn good if you haven't seen it for a reason fuck you and it's on netflix so do it now i like to go on tiktok and find tiktoks about movies where they post a clip and i just go what is this and i did that to a fandom thread earlier today because i just i don't want to look <laughs> i just don't know shit about fuck <laughs> don't you love when people do that <laughs> what are you talking about what is this what do you even 
<laughs> it's so insane to me that people do uh, that. <laughs> I have more it. comments on the movie on our movie posts. What is this? what movie is this? <laughs> What's this? What the fuck is this? The fucking caption says the movie title twice in the fucking thing. What this? The do the the hashtags are movie arrival Dennis Villeneuve. You know what I mean? Like no, because you said a, the arrival edition, and I fucking die. <laughs> no, because no. Yo, the best scene in Phantom Thread is when. Uh, she like embarrasses herself in his dress and she was like oh she's not worthy to wear your dress and then immediately like that was like one of the biggest moments that he like fell in love with her oh yeah he like takes her back home and fucking fucks her probably 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 <laughs> fucks her probably he, he probably he, he probably frigged dude they probably Pro frigged i love that though Let because me them cheats. do you have a gun it's some like fancy woman that was able to afford a dress, but he doesn't like her clearly. And she's wearing the dress and she's like fucking sloppy all over it and like literally cleaning her face with the dress. And yeah. he's just like, <laughs> he doesn't want to be there for one. And she's like, you must come. You must come to the, the ceremony. And he's like, I, I'm not about these things, basically. Yeah. Mm. And then he goes and she's like wiping the dress on her face. And he's just like, motherfucker, dude. <laughs> yeah. But like, he's so mad that he's not even like emoting anymore. He's just sitting there, just like, yeah. fuck. And then his uh, his girlfriend can see the fucking tension in his face, and then they go to grab the dress, and uh, <clears throat> her helper is like, oh, she's sleeping. In the dress? And then, oh, man. Basically goes into the woman's bed to take off the fucking, the perfect dress that he made. Yeah. Great oh, scene. Love it. Love it. Shouts to that movie. It's fucking beautiful and romantic and amazing. Uh, final... Thing I watched this week, and I know for a fact that Alex, the Weeb Wilson, Weebshin, watched this as well because you already brought it up. Quiet on set. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. I was enthralled by this series, the Fuckalodian documentary, it's dude. It's rough. It is really bad. It is man. a rough watch, but dude, it is interesting and well done. It is very interesting. So it is about uh, the Nickelodeon. Uh, the basically the inception of Nickelodeon and all of the shows that were produced and created by one Daniel Schneider. Daniel Schneider, who is a stapler? No, um, he's a file and and uh, uh, abuser. I actually, it's not ever proven that he fucking. He's any never of those kids. been convicted of anything, and he's got the most airtight NDA that's ever been conceived. And Amanda Bynes did say, though, in her autobiography, that she was impregnated by her a producer on a show. I have heard about that. I did not read Amanda Bynes. I read Jeanette McCurdy's, and hers was fascinating. Really? Yeah. I, now I want to read it. It's very good. Yeah, it's called. But like, I never watched any of those shows. So same, I, same. Yeah, but okay. yeah. You don't need to, but it's still interesting. Okay. Yeah. My Nickelodeon watching stopped at probably all that season one or two. Right. I was... I And Keenan and Kel. Yeah. I Yeah. I loved Keenan and Kel. Loved all that. all that. I didn't... I caught like an episode or two of Drake and Josh that was like... That was right when I pretty much stopped watching. Um, Never saw Drake and Josh. It was fine. It was Chris, did you time. have any uh, Nick Nickelodeon experience or were you a Disney Channel kid? SpongeBob. There you go. That weird jungle game show where they ate the kids. Legends yeah. of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Sorry. Never never the original shows. You never liked all that? Saturday Night yeah. Live for kids? Love yeah, I watched that. I watched all that. I turned on Quiet on the Set, and in the first minute, I turned it off, because right in the... I just was not in the mood. I was like, yeah, I'll check this out. This is in the news and all that. And it, and it's it like faded up, and it's like... In Nickelodeon back in the day, it was and I was like, not in the mood. <laughs> I, I, immediately, I was like, nope, I don't want a fucked up fucking documentary bummer right now. I don't I need you. it. I don't need it. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. There's fuck, so fuck. fucking many, dude. Fuck a little bit. Yeah, it's actually insane. Just so many documentaries that are about fucked up shit, and I'm tired of that genre. Kind of my favorite genre. I like it. I know you guys like. While it. I was watching it, I was like, Josh would love this. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. I like fucking terrible people. I mean, I don't like terrible people, but I like. It's interesting. I love learning about terrible yeah. fucking people. Yeah, what about him? You know, I, I like learning about those guys. <laughs> what about him, dude? The toy box killer. Remember that? Oh god. Yeah. What about him? The toy box killer. <laughs> yeah. What about? One him? of the things he would do. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Daniel Schneider is a really bad guy, and hired a, or I don't know if he hired, but there were a lot of files on set. A lot of them. Then again, it's like if you want to, fuck. Go it's, on. It seems the no. natural land that plane, no, dude. dude. Swing away, Josh. 
you might say if people are desperate to work for Nickelodeon that you might find a couple of fucking predators in there. You know what I'm saying? Wild concept. Maybe. I'm not saying all. It's not a blanket statement. Maybe a background check. May, yeah, maybe thorough background checks are needed. Maybe for a background check. Children's entertainment. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But then you have, dude, I feel bad. Honestly, I do really feel bad for Ariana Grande where it's like, that's the problem that I have with this, this documentary. It's like, okay, they're telling the stories about what's going on, but they're also showing the clips that are also like, it's like you're kind of bringing these back up for people that are uncomfortable by these clips. You know if that makes... To be fair, um, these things kind of need to be exposed. Like people that did this type of I don't of need thing to see shouldn't... Ariana Grande chewing on her fucking foot. As yeah, no, that shit is girl. weird. Th- that, yeah. That's one of the weirdest things about it. Not Why just, cut that in? That's it, what. That's, why cut that in? That's my point. That's this my point. This is another I don't thing to, about this that genre that I don't like, where it's like, look how fucked up this is, and we're going to go in deep about it. Where it's, it's like, it's just content now. It's not even really about exposing bad people. It's just in, like people. It's are salacious, fast, salacious content. To yeah. be, to yeah. be fair. It's borderline impossible to believe that that exists just by description. Like if if you if if the documentarian was like, yeah, there was a clip where uh, Dan Schneider filmed an extra an extracurricular video that he knew couldn't make it to network and put it on the internet because he saw that the internet was blowing up. He put even weirder clips there. If you just described those clips, you'd be like, "Dude, no fucking way!" But to see him, I would believe it. That's insane. I would believe it. I don't need to see. I get you. I don't need to see Ariana Grande chewing on her foot. I don't need to see Ariana Grande fucking trying to milk a potato. Weird, weird. Like you telling somebody about the show. Like, Like, yeah, isn't that enough for you? You don't need to fucking see it. I don't need to see it. I just described it to you, and you're like, "Fuck, that's awful." Dude, she hangs her head off off a couch like she's in fucking throated. Legit. Like and she's like oh and she pours water on her head it's weird Whoa, how did you what how yeah imagine just like describing the show to somebody like yeah there's clips of Ariana Grande sucking her feet and they're like what episode is that <laughs> what yeah 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 what, what, what episode what's the but, time code but of that? you then you realize that she's fucking like I don't know she's like 14? twelve or something she yeah. still looks fucking twelve I mean she does yeah whatever. to be fair. But like that's it's so fucked up that that stuff does not need to be in the documentary at all no. But it is. They're like, there's some crazy fucked up shit. Here it is. <laughs> here it yeah. is right here. Here it is. I'm sure Ani on Grande is stoked about having that. In the That's exactly what I was I was getting to. Is like I feel bad for her because for one, she didn't participate in the documentary. And two, it's like now all of these clips are being brought back up and she's like, What the f-? she's probably like, dude, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Didn't need to see this. They probably had to ask her, right? Not if it belonged mm-hmm. to Disney. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon? Or yeah, they're Nicole sued. Not they're <laughs> not, <honest. Yeah. laughs> not if it belonged to Nickelodeon. Yeah. The craziest thing is like there were there uh, the people that on the show that would like they like the the Jason Handy guy or whatever. He was emailing a child yeah. and emailed naked photos of him to a child. That's so crazy to such a traceable crime to a child. Like early internet, people didn't understand. <laughs> yeah. That's the funny thing. It's like, well, it's not physical. It's not in the mail. <laughs> yeah. If I delete it, it's gone. Yeah. Exactly. That's what they like. Early internet crimes are hilarious. The like, BTK n- killer. He's like, what? I sent him a floppy disk. <laughs> 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 How did they get here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh fucking god! Shit. That's Idiot! Fucking stupid. Well, that's fucking wild and depressing. Dude, and it's I'm not... crazy. So you watch Doubt and then this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doubt. I mean, there's some doubt. Oh, you don't know if he does or not. He, did you see his like? I didn't see it, but I heard someone describe to me his response video. I did see some of it. I mean, wait, Dan Schneider filmed yeah, the response video? Yeah, I have not seen that. He filmed the response video with another, an older child actor, like a yeah, someone that basically he helped start his career. And now he's like doing interviews and shit now. So, so he interviewed some, like basically a uh, an, a non neutral party interviewed him. Yeah, people think like, oh, well, this guy you, that you produce his show, you're making him interview you to kind of be his ally and be like, look, like like a character t- a testimony, basically. Right. Yeah. So and what's fucked up though? I mean, what's fucked up? The, the whole thing is <laughs> fucked up. Uh, but Dan Schneider is basically saying now he's like, oh, well, you know. I understand that that was inappropriate then, and I wouldn't do it now. And, like, well... Inappropriate then? It's always yeah, inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The, yeah, he's, he, he's apologizing now. Yeah, because he got caught. Yeah. 
That's the, uh, that's not really an apology if you're only no, doing it because right. you get caught. He didn't apologize because all he said was, "I wouldn't do it now." Yeah, that's not an apology. No, yeah. it's not. It's not. I mean, well, but but then again, what does a guy like that say? He's like, "Yeah, I'm really fucked up, and I should be arrested." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what right, is he? Yeah. What but, is he supposed to say? But the way the person Probably that nothing. saw it described it to me was, it made it sound like. Well, we did a lot of edgy, risky humor back in the day, and I wouldn't do it now. Like he tried to guise it under the cultural evolution of some. Right. Kind. He tried to guise it under the like, oh, that's what children laughed at. That's, that's just that laughed. edgy oh, yeah. children's humor. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend like this potato needs to be milked. Yeah. Dude. And then I'm gonna sim- fuck what? A fucking yeah. dick potato, dude. Yeah. No bad shit. Uh, <laughs> bad shit. Bad shit. Good Have you seen his pool? Honor. No. His pool is a foot. Fuck. <laughs> And oh, the Nickelodeon and, logo. And dude, yeah. and they show all of these clips of I mean, tons of shows with foot stuff in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's clear as day. This Shooting guy's. goop on children's faces. Yeah. What the living fuck? Yeah. yeah. I love that the, the sliming them. Dude, the, the the dude, no, dude. There was a like a full on basically cum shot. Multiple video D- dozens, I assume. Where it's like the, it's just a stupid scenario in the show where Jamie Lynn Spears of all fucking people gets a basically a green cum shot to the face not slimed but like an actual yeah. like, oh no the aloe vera exploded yeah 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 shit like that yeah and then yeah <laughs> jesus christ man yep not great and everyone in the 90s is just like this is fine Our adults are making this yeah this must be safe and oh good. someone's in charge that it's fine and then uh drake bell comes forward for the very first that time was fascinating to talk about his abuse and he he's basically saying like yeah josh didn't even know about this shit dude. yeah and it's it's cool that he was like, hey, guys, stop blowing up Josh about this. He didn't yeah. know anything about it. Because people were, um, people saw the documentary and they started like adding Josh uh, Peck. Peck. I'm like, what the fuck, man? You didn't, you never came out and said anything. And, and like, as a child, literally, <laughs> he, because they're not friends or anything, they're yeah. not like close friends. Josh Peck found out when the documentary came out and nobody knew that Drake Bell was the one that was uh, abused during all of this. Yeah, one of the one. Yeah, it, that's how crazy. It yeah, is. which yeah. is just one of the many that were abused. I hate how that's like a thing where it's just like people that have no information or weren't there about the situation are yelling out about it. TikTok yeah. generation, dude. Yeah, you know, you know what's another thing about TikTok that bugs me is like I'll be looking at a very innocent video of like a celebrity or an influencer or whatever, and always the suggested search at the bottom is their name plus controversy. Have you seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Every single person that's ever in the limelight apparently gets Googled about controversy all the time. Damn. Which is if like... If they're just looking for something... They're just looking to tear people down. It's no matter wild what. where it's just... Like, <laughs> they're just looking to tear Dan Schneider down. <laughs> <laughs> this guy made a good show or two. This is a hit piece on Dan Schneider. Yeah. Much I love, like the Michael Jackson. Oh, that oh my God. Cool, all right. Yeah. I love that the one... There's like one black mom and she's like, are you seeing this? Are you fucking with me? Yeah. And she's like the one mom that's like, you're kidding, right? But all you're the, fucking kidding. All the parents <laughs> are basically like they can't speak up or else their child will be kicked off and their dream will be dead. Oh, well, then better get your child exploited and potentially molested for that bag. Yeah. Fuck yeah. the parents then, too. Yeah. I don't. I, what, dude? You know what's crazy? They and, can't say anything. They might well, get fired. They were get so, fired from the pedophile show. What are you they, talking about? Yeah. A lot of those cases, though, the the child is making income for the entire family. Yeah, that was the thing with Jeanette McCurdy's family. Is uh, like, first of all, her mom. The book is called "I'm Glad My Mom Died," and yeah. you realize that so quickly because she would take her kid to auditions. She would she would force her to live this life where she would be the income for. Her entire family, and then she also taught her how to be bulimic. She taught her how Jesus. to. It's nuts. It. She's like, let me show you how to look like a child forever, hmm. dude. It's wild. Yeah, dude, that shit's nuts. It's, it's fucked insane. Up. But it, it it was a really good documentary. Aside from the clips that I, I thought were kind of unnecessary, but um, I can I can understand the argument for both. I just didn't really want to see it. I get you. It's it's immediately you're like, oh, I'm uncomfortable as fuck. Yeah. 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 Should have just described it. It it lessens the the message of their actual documentary. I think so in too. In my opinion, I think so too. But it is a good documentary, nonetheless. I'm sure. Um, Alex, you want to go next? Sure. Uh, so I watched that. I also started a another doc series on Max about the baddest bitch who's ever done it, Martha Stewart. Let's go. Let's uh, go, dude. dude a she, baddie, a certified baddie c- today. Today, to this day, always has been certified. Done time. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 
She's fucking harder she, than me. She's got Jailbird. more street cut cred than most rappers do. Jailbird, Legit. fuck it, and also fuck what she was arrested for. That was some. It's fucking, so it's such bullshit. It's such yeah, bullshit. She pissed bullshit. off the wrong guy, and he's like, "I will tell someone that I know." Yeah, because she was queen shit. You know yeah, I mean? was yeah. it insider trading or tax fraud or which one? Insider was? trading, pretty sure. Yeah, that's. When they every, all do that, when they literally every that. corporation fucking does that, fuck you. When literally a senator's every... salary is like 200k and they're all worth 300 million, hmm, yeah. hmm, gee, weird. I wonder. Yeah, seriously, it's so weird. Yeah, I won't get into that. Fuck it. Yeah, that's Martha Stewart. She's a baddie, uh, certified bad bitch. One of the most hardworking and talented people who have ever lived. Genuinely, facts. She is so cool. And then there are moments in the doc in the doc where you're like. Uh, that's kind of shitty, but you expect that. It's y- you should at this point in your life understand that you got to make an omelet. You got to bring some fucking lives. Look at Oprah. Look at Ellen. Look at I'll take Martha over any of those. Over bitches. any, yeah, dude. Yeah. Ellen, what do you you ate a burger on stage once? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, Martha Stewart. They're gonna say box. <laughs> <laughs> ate a box on stage. Okay. <laughs> Typical. Li- <No. laughs> Um, I'm about halfway through it, and it's interesting so far. Um, I rec- I recommend it to anyone that passively enjoys Martha Stewart's life as a person. <laughs> They're very specific. Yes. You have the strangest watch lists ever, man. Like you, w- like you watch y- manga, anime, Martha Stewart living. A true cinephile. I like just what I the like. duality of man. Yeah. Right here. Ah! Next up, X Men '97. Exactly. Wait, is this the new one? It's the new one. The, the new, new TV animated show? series. Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm loving it. Yeah. It, it's it. Ba da ba ba ba. Uh, because of the McDonald's. Um, Please clap. It's a good time. If you liked X Men in the '90s, you will like this. Yeah. It. I can't remember what happened when the show ended, but you don't really need to because it catches you up pretty quick. It's the same corny 90s comic book shit. But with the asses are less thick now, right? That is true. The asses are slightly less thick. And I'm it, not a fan Remember what they took from us. Yeah, it's also... They nerfed the butts. Yeah, they... I'm they, talking they, Wolverine's ass. No, yeah, totally. Wolverine, the voice acting feels a bit off, mm. and that's a that's about it. Other than okay, so the fact that you're not watching it on a CRT does take something away from it because Ooh, I bet that would hit if it was the, brand new and it had a CRT kind of vibe to it. Yeah, Sorry, go ahead. the the clarity of the character models in the show, the drawings. I don't think you're meant to see the show in that high fidelity. It works best in 240p on a on a CRT. Shouts mm-hmm. to the movie The Descent because same thing. Mm-hmm. Nice. Supposed to watch that on DVD. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm loving it. I love that series. I love that era of comic book stuff. I love that era of animation, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman animated series, Street X-Men Sharks. animated series, Street Shark. Oh, yeah. Street Shark. Let's fucking Imagine pitching it. Street Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, they surf. <laughs> yeah. It's like, we need a fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle competitor. It's like, listen here. Wh- what other... What's cooler than a fucking stupid turtle? I don't know. Sharks. What eats a turtle, dude? Yeah. yeah. Man. <laughs> what other ocean animals can we <laughs> humanize? Yeah. But they can't live under the sewers. They're sharks. No. Like, no, they're just walking the street. It's rocket power, but they're sharks. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking the warriors, but they're shark people. Yeah. <laughs> Warriors. So, did you make a bowl of cereal while you watch X Men? Because that's sh- how I you should really I go. Oh, yeah. a bowl of Lucky Charms. Fully regress. Put on a onesie. Make mm-hmm. some Fruit Loops. Shit myself. I have a shame. <laughs> I have a shameful confession, though. Yeah. If we're talking cereals for just a brief second. Uh huh. I just got brown rice cereal, dude. Brown rice cereal. Brown rice krispies. <laughs> brown. Yeah. Basically. Oh, okay. Those are. That's fine. Not good? I bet it's dog shit. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. Bowl. It's just basically oatmeal, all right? No, because they're like puffy, like Rice Krispies. But Do they get so, soggy so, you just, so quick? Okay. I'm just picturing like a bowl of brown rice with milk on it. It's <laughs> disgusting. Uncooked. <laughs> it's uncooked. <laughs> uh, you gotta let it get soggy a little bit. It's not that bad. 
But it's just like, God, I'm a fucking adult now. I have to eat brown rice cereal. Isn't that the worst when like you turn a certain age and then every f- new food you have to be like, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's actually not that bad. It's like, I, oh, I had a, I had peanut butter and jelly on a rice cake. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, it's you see because the carbs. It's yeah. better. I love eating nothing but salad and being hungry for four more hours. <laughs> yeah. This is great, dude. And I, and I, I love s- suffering. I have to do it because I love peanut butter and jelly. I'm doing fucking almond butter and instead hey, fuck of, you dude instead of jelly it's a fucking fruit paste Ugh. basically i'm the dude losing weight sucks man yeah it fucking sucks i'd rather dude. just baron harkonnen it up dude i would yeah. Yeah, dude <laughs> just, fucking my desert my dessert my goon, <laughs> dude yeah. you know what i mean my just, goon <laughs> my, my de- dessert my goon <laughs> my dessert my goon <laughs> 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 My dessert, my goon. <laughs> uh, he's just gooning in a bowl of high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> it's just fucking. Uh, it's it's a uh, unprocessed Coca Cola syrup, dude. Uh, <laughs> my dessert, my goon. My desert, my goon. He <laughs> <laughs> just levitates. Yeah. <laughs> the, the 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 levitating device is like struggling. It's like <laughs> so big that it's just like yeah, it's like shaking. Losing weight fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, so sparks my- flying off it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta put you down, VB. You're too hairy, dude. I love you, but look at like you it's got a lo- bush. There's, there's like floating pussy, hair yeah. going on. There's like. Is it like snowing in here? Jesus Christ. In dander. I'm sorry, baby, but just you're just matter. You're just too too shetty. But uh dude, shouts Shet, to fucking bitch. Shouts dude, I gotta name drop this fucking stupid jelly of meeting. <laughs> stupid fucking paste. Are you kidding me? It's fucking bullshit, dude. Why would anybody ever do this? It's fucking it's like it's instead of jelly, you know, it's jelly is fruit and sugar mm-hmm. in Pectin, a can yeah. or in a jar. This is someone took a bushel of strawberries and went <laughs> Threw it in there and they're like, fuck it, ship it off. That's all they did. It's not worth it. And it sucks, huh? It sucks so bad. <laughs> it's so terrible. But I'm the like, shell of what I once was. It's kind of, it's like, it's like, uh, how, um, lacrosse, lacrosse are a flavor. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, if LaCroix made a peanut butter and jelly, that's what it tastes like. Do you say, <laughs> yeah. how do you say the word for that pastry that looks like the moon? And it's like a flaky, buttery pastry. Uncrustable. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uncrustable. <laughs> the pastry looks like a moon. Yeah. A croissant. Quas- croissant? Ugh. I, I don't fuck, say it like fuck that. You, I say croissant. Dude. Yeah. I say croissant. Dude, when I worked at Starbucks, there were people that would be like, yeah, can I get a latte and a tall coffee and a croissant? A croissant? And I'm like, so a croissant? And they're like, yes, a croissant. <laughs> and I'd burn it. Just because <laughs> fuck you, dude. Just because fuck them. I hate that. Uh, next up, uh, I'm just going to talk about this for literally one second because it's the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. Wonka, don't watch it. Fuck that movie. Yeah, yeah. I saw a Let's clip. Go. Of, I saw it. a clip from that where he was dancing and they were, they memed it to like a Lasan Al Gaib thing where he was doing a sandwalk <laughs> where he's like dancing and then it just cut to him like you know yeah. he's doing a new sandwalk or something. But the actual clip in the movie looks so bad. It's the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. Okay, good. Wow. Don't Pe- watch it. People liked it. Yeah, stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> Get their ass. The TikTok Get generation. Get their ass. Heal Alex. Let's go. <laughs> no, dude. Fucking heal Alex. Lucy and a fast. <laughs> Stupid fucking idiot. Lucy and a Oh, that's Alex music. Lucy and a fast. It's fucking jazz. <laughs> you come down with a fucking saxophone. You're fucking know. playing Hurricane Season by Trombone Shorty. <laughs> All right. Uh, Deep fucking cut. It's a good song. <laughs> And then, all right, so we haven't talked about it, but Akira Toriyama did die. One of the most important people in the history of arts and media and culture in general. Dragon Ball Z guy. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, And I was a very sad boy. And uh, celebrity deaths don't usually affect me, but my girlfriend noticed that I was a very, very sad boy, and she graciously got me... Physical media minute. The Dragon Ball Z box set. Oh shit! Let's fucking go. Nice. So that's, uh, so that's one one hundredth of the show, basically. Yeah, this wow. is the full run of DBZ. Hell yeah! Not no one, Dragon two. Ball, no Dragon Ball Super, no Dragon Ball GT. But this is what I grew up on. This is the Frieza. 
Frieza Cell, Cell Boo. The best era. Yeah, yeah. The best era. Um, this is the uh, like first 150 Pokemon of DBZ. Majin Boo, dude. 100%. You know what I mean? 100%. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna eat you. Yep. Is he in that? Majin Boo? Yeah. Okay. He's seasons eight and nine. Or is that Kid Boo? They're all the same. It's weird. Yeah, it's complicated. Oh no, Kid Boo is the serious one. Majin Boo is the big fucking Baron Hardy. They're all in. clones. Of Majin Boo, oh, you, he used to be a bad guy, and then he's like, ah, never mind. Yeah, he used then, to be a heel. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, just he like the heel turn, just like Piccolo. Yeah, exactly. Piccolo was a heel at first. He was King Piccolo. Piccolo was always like the most. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of uh, uh, the bald kid. Krillin. Krillin was always the most cucked little like. He dies like nine times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, he is responsible for creating the first Super Saiyan, basically. So, yeah, pretty much. Because he dies, and then Goku and then, gets big angry. Fuck you! <laughs> Goku gets mad oh. for three episodes. I love when it's a fucking big old supersonic ball of energy, dude. Come on, yeah. dude. The moment in the in the Frieza saga where they're okay so they're doing like the beam battle between frieza and super saiyan goku and first of all the hype of witnessing super saiyan goku as a child the first time on toonami mm. i nutted so hard um and then the part where frieza like he's like fuck it i'll just kill you and then goku's so powerful that he just goes you fool and he kills him with the beam yeah i was like that's so hard that Dude. is so hard that he's like you idiot you could have lived you know yeah. what i learned like later in life is like that what we were watching is a censored version of dbc yes is this censored or uncensored? What? This is the Funimation dub with Christopher Sabat, Sabat and J Sean Schimmel, which is pretty much the gold standard. So um, it's not bloody. No, it's bloody. Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, even the Frieza death was like was kind of bloody for even the censored one on Toonami. Right, right, right. But because it like it shows him like split in half, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, but I remember later in life seeing a clip from an uncensored DBZ. They are fucking punching like bloody as fuck it's, it's a mortal combat it's show it's sick like, yeah it's awesome that's fucking sick dude. but like in the show it was just like psh, 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 just like punches you know like they cut all the blood is my boy uh mr satan in this run he is yes mr satan he's the one who tamed majin buu i fucking love mr that's satan. such a funny like what's my call this villain I, of he anybody in DBZ, him. that was my guy, dude. I was yeah. like, he's he's got the vibe. He's strong. He looks like a pro wrestler. He's a, he's, he's a wrestler, and he never wants to fight anybody. <laughs> oh, I remember this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Hercule. Got, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hercule. Yeah. They they call him that in the the American show, but in the Japan in, in Japanese, he is Mr. Satan. Right. Yeah. yeah. I remember when Goku went Super Saiyan. I, I just love that he never wanted friend. to fight anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know what's funny? There's a character in Dragon Ball Super. Who, uh, the god of destruction, Beerus, he mistakenly thinks that he's the most powerful being in the entire universe and anyone, and like he could beat anyone without even trying. And there's always a situation where he's about to fight someone and they're like, oh my god, look at him. He's, he's not even trying to fight me. I give up. I'm not going to fight him. <laughs> and he's got giant pepperoni nipples, is the funniest thing about him. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, DBZ, it's literally me, dude. Yeah. I it, tried to go Super together. Saiyan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stared in the mirror and went, uh, and I give myself a fucking aneurysm that's gonna hit me at sixty-eight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. We lost another one to Super Saiyan. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Good shit. Um, I'll cut it off there. I got a couple more, but I'll save them. All right, save them, dude. All righty. Watch list. Shit. Charles, Chucky, Collins. What do you watch? What should I talk about? Let's see. Uh, Late night with the devil. Oh, yeah. We got a screener for this bad we boy. We did. It's a Shutter joint. Shouts to Shutter for sending that to us. We're like Shitter. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> it wasn't Shutter, it was somebody else. But anyway, shouts to them. Yeah. Um, this is like uh, if Jimmy Kimmel was uh, had performed an exorcism on the show, basically. That's cool. Basically, it's like. It's a quote-unquote found footage thing where it was like the following was a broadcast from 1970 where they had a mysterious guest on the show and it's a cool it turns out it was Mr. Satan. <laughs> uh, but it is conceptually pretty cool. It's like composed of like, it's like this is the raw tape from the fucking broadcast and blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's, it kept me interested enough to watch, but it's, it, it has cool moments. It's one of those movies where it's like, it has redeemable, like, oh, cool, that was sick. And the rest is just me, you know, it's mm. It's fine. The it's trailer looked cool. I, I was interested by the trailer. What? I forgot about two movies that, two other movies that we watched. Good. Oh. Um, but it's fine. It's mid, uh, midnight with the devil, you should say. <laughs> <laughs> fucking got him, dude. Dude, that was sick. I'm going to fucking roll today, dude. <sighs> Fuck. I need a cigarette. <laughs> um, late night with the devil is fine. It's, it's on Shutter now, probably. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. It's okay. I think it came out on Friday or something. It's all right. Strong a lot of uh, 
criticism because of its use of AI art. I saw that. Oh no, really? Yeah. Late night. Late Pro- night with the devil. It's yeah. doing promotional art with AI. The you know apparently there are like title cards in the movie where it's like they use them for brief moments, but those are AI generated. Apparently, it's like when you have a fucking five dollar budget, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who cares? Fuck off. I, I hate it when it's that Marvel show that used AI for the title credits. What? Fuck that was that. pretty egregious. That's fucked up. What, Fuck you forever. What did that? Uh, the the one Marvel show that had uh, uh, Sam Sam Jackson in it. I don't know. I, it's sad that I can't even remember the fucking stupid title of that Marvel How show. How could you possibly forget? <laughs> Secret Wars, maybe? I don't know. Did Who that cares? come out? I, I don't, don't fucking know. know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Dude, uh, Roadhouse. <laughs> yeah. I'll get to it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, man, move it the fuck along, dude. <laughs> no, it's my bad. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I was picturing, like, what if Jimmy Kimmel was in it and, like, <laughs> like you know, fake laughing at a woman turning her head all the way around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. So, uh, so you're possessed by the town. <laughs> Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> <laughs> turning her head and, like... Jimmy Fallon? Oh, my bad. Yeah, I met Jimmy Fallon. To what be if? fair, they're both... Whatever. Whatever. The bit's bad anyway. But yeah, that's I was picturing that the whole time laughing, but the rest is just like, he, he plays it more straight like a Johnny Carson, mm. sort of. Hmm. And it's fine. That's that. Um, Roadhouse? Was, was it Cinema 4-3? Nah. nah. I, don't even, I don't even know. Not even that. Cinema? It just has a couple cool moments that make you go, that wasn't bad. Not worth it. It's one it. of those things, yeah. yeah. Or it's like... You could watch just those scenes on YouTube when it's out in a couple of years, you know, where it's like, you know, when someone uploads the that scene from that movie, you could watch that and call it a day. And they upload the whole movie in clips. Yeah. The 79 clips that yeah. are well, it's 30 like seconds. Rink, dude. You know what I mean? It's like, watch the last five minutes and call Pretty it Pretty much. Day. The bedroom scene in the last yes. five minutes. The bedroom scene is my favorite part of that movie by far. The But those don't hit as hard when you haven't been staring at door frames for an hour the rest True. of the time. True. You're like, oh shit, something's happening. And then it hits harder. Yeah. But I get you. but um, yeah, those out of context, you won't. Yeah, whatever. We watched Roadhouse. We watched the new Roadhouse. The new Roadhouse. The brand new Roadhouse, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and starring Post Malone. What? Yeah. Yeah. Sort, yeah. Of, sort of. Yeah. He has a scene in the intro. All right. Where he goes to fight Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, and when he gets his ass beat. And then Jake Gyllenhaal takes off his shirt, and he's like, never mind. <laughs> Dude, he's in there for maybe three minutes. But they promoted him like he was in oh, the fucking shit. movie. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah. Uh, Conor McGregor's in it, coked off his fucking ass. Dude, yeah, yeah I saw a red carpet thing where he's like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Got, he looks like a reptile. He's so coked yeah. up. He's like, Dude, ah. he's he was like the best the part of the movie, dimension. though. Yeah. He was so fucking funny. He, he, he was funny because he was ridiculous, but also funny because he was pretty bad. Yeah, like he is a g- he's actually not bad at because he's so charismatic and just riz the fuck up and but clearly not, coked out. He's mm. not playing a character. He's literally just he's just him. being him. Yeah, yeah, basically, he plays the psychopath that comes in to clean up the mess okay. and basically be the villain to Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm-hmm. And they're like, he's off. He's basically the fade from he, Dune. He, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, like if Fade did coke and but there was this one scene where he fucking like everywhere he drives, he just drives into a thing. Which is fucking funny. It's like fucking, fucking police squad. Yeah. yeah. He, dude, he just crashes into a thing every single time. But there was one... Stolen car, too. Stolen, yeah, <laughs> stolen car. He just rams into a fucking... Uh, uh, fucking... What's it called? A tree? Coconut tree? A, pine, what? a palm tree? Palm, palm tree. tree. Yeah, That's what yeah. it is. He fucking drives straight hood first into a palm tree. And then coconuts fall down on <laughs> it. And he gets out of the car. Just yeah. like fucking... <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Where the fuck did that tree come from? Who put that fucking tree there? Yeah, he's doing his fucking ape walk. I'm gonna like, and see what this is about. Where the fuck is everyone? It made me laugh so hard because he was like, boom, coconuts, and then door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting out. Yeah. <laughs> Who put those fucking trees there? Fucking shit, I'm here to fight Jake Gyllenhaal. I was going to say, though, I watched that for the first time, not having seen the original Roadhouse. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I wa- immediately went home and watched Roadhouse. Yeah? It's so good. It's, it's so awesome. Fun, right? He just beats ass. Yeah. It's great. Fucking cock punches for 90 minutes. <laughs> Dude, I fucking loved Roadhouse. The original Roadhouse. Dude. In, Did Patrick Swayze. Hot take. I know. Right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, one thing this doesn't have that the old one has, dick punches. 
and Sam Elliott sexually combing his hair oh, back yeah. every two seconds. You've got the Sam Elliott look going on. A now. little bit, yeah. I got the voice too. <laughs> Here, brother. You got to do the hair thing. You got. Oh fuck. Shit. It'd be funny if it was totally bald on top and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. No, I don't want to do the big guys. I, I don't think I need to do. I need to act out the bit, and then it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. Yeah, Sam Elliott basically after they get done. Punch and cock. He's just like, oh, brother. Yeah. I <laughs> was well, sure a bucket of musket. You want to fight, dickless? I sure ain't going to show you my dick. <laughs> Damn, that hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to get my rain The truck. dirtiest gray hair you've ever fucking yeah. seen. Fucking salt and pepper. Yeah. Salt and fucking... Aged pepper. He's like, you know, yeah. it's actually bad for you to use shampoo. Just ash. <laughs> just one he of just, those. It's not even salt and pepper. It's ash. Yeah. Dude, literally. He just goes, yeah, he just does that the entire the entire movie. Mo- Hey, man. He's on the phone doing that. Yeah. yeah. Get a fucking hair tie. Like, uh, <laughs> hair, hair ties weren't invented in this town. We didn't have them. A double douche. That fucking roadhouse. I need to fucking throw him out of the bar. I need a new bouncer. Yeah, we, we need a guy. He's a wild card, but he gets the job done. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit of a wild card. He literally murdered seven patrons. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Royce was like, oh, he's getting beat up by four dudes at the same time. He's like, hey, I had a handle on it. He's like, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> hey, I had it under control. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> the fucking, <laughs> like, yeah, he's a bit of a wild card. He's like, yeah, he's a felon. He's, yeah. a, yeah. he's an axe murderer. <laughs> he killed somebody. Yeah. Yeah. He's a wild guy. Yeah. Um, But. The first one was just so charming, and I don't think this last one was, this new one. It was at least, it was better than I thought it was going to be. It was self-aware and had really funny moments, honestly. Yeah, but it was really convoluted, the story was. Yeah. Really? Yes. The fuck? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. They there tried was, to do too much? There was a fucking cartel drug lord situation in it that was like... Just what remake we, it. What are we doing, dude? Yeah. What are we doing, what are we doing over here? Yeah. And it was in Florida... Was the you didn't like that? Was well, the original was just like a like, like a Texas country, or Arizona or yeah, like something. a country bar, right? Yeah, yeah. See, they didn't have kind that. of a nondescript area. But to be fair, if some, or maybe Tennessee, somewhere. Yeah, but to be fair, if you're gonna make a movie about a bar that has constant bar fights, Florida would be the place that is where true. people are basically just like aggressiveness is in the air. I didn't mind that at all. I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that he lived on a boat. I didn't. I mean. Granted, you know, I, uh, the f- or first one obviously it didn't have a lot of emotional attachment to. Yeah. But I thought it just the story just got way too fucking complicated. I also don't give a shit about a love interest, dude. No, that was terrible. I could give a goddamn shit about it. Completely forgettable. That's what immediately my two bathroom breaks during the movie. I was like, oh, okay, it's girl time. I gotta fucking. Dude, piss. You did miss a crazy scene. What a- was that? After the love interest thing, he's like walking home, and it's he. It was a pretty cool wonder, actually. He's like walking on the bridge in the background. You see these headlights coming, and it's just this long shot. And he looks over his shoulder. He's like, "Okay, that car's coming kind of fast," and it just keeps getting closer and closer and closer. And then, right when it's like right behind him, it veers towards him and tries to hit him off the bridge. Oh, and, it's, and it's a wonder. Oh wow! And so it's really a. It looks, you know, a little CG. The some of the CG is kind of rough in that movie. Yeah, but it was a cool attempt at like a like wonder. a like a Children of Men type shot, like a Alfonso Cuarón like crazy one or where it. And then they were struggling on the bridge a little bit, and but it was just crazy because it it scared me too because it was like there was a car. It just looked like a car passing, and then it just veers right into Jake Gyllenhaal, and oh, he wow. jumps out of the way j- just in time, and it is crazy. Hmm. Like he lands in somehow lands in the flatbed. I don't know. <laughs> but like, I felt like I was I was pacing the movie, and then as soon as he was like, "All right, let's go on," a, and I was like, "Oh, I'm fucking out yeah, here. you know what fucking, I mean? Fucking Miami Vice shot to the sandbar. Yeah, yeah. Bo- fucking romance go fast, time. Go fast, boats, mojito. Yeah, yeah. If I felt that coming along, and I was like, I don't need to fucking watch this in Roadhouse the remake. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm so gonna go pissy. I'm not gonna in the hallway. <laughs> just, just piss yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just go stand in the hallway and piss yourself. Yeah. Don't even go to the bathroom. Just go stand outside. I gotta go take a piss. <laughs> See, I would do that if I had to piss during Dune 2. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would, yeah. I would piss right on the carpet, yeah. dude. But, um, it, yeah, who gives a fuck about the love interest of some forgettable new actor that is, you know, whatever? I don't give a shit. Yeah. We should have fought her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it had its moments, but it was more fun than I thought. It was, it was fine. It was just a dad movie. 
where the fuck is that guy? I think if the UFC tie-in was weird. Yes. Wait, what? Jake Gyllenhaal in Roadhouse is an ex UFC fighter. Okay. And that's why he knows how to fuck just shit beat ass. up. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't like the like if this movie was just called Bouncer, yeah. I might have liked it. If it had no it, well, I would have liked it more. If it was had no tie-in to Roadhouse at all, and it was just an ex UFC fighter that Sure, sure, yeah. That whoops ass. Like, cause some of the fight scenes were great, where he would be like is there a hospital nearby? I will leave after I fucking kill you. Sure. Uh, before we start, do you have insurance? What? Like, you have medical insurance? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. Yeah, I'm not the one that's gonna fucking need it. Okay. Sure. Hey, Frankie. Yeah. Is there a hospital nearby? Literally, who gives a shit? Basically, the setup to the fights were great. The they allude to him being an absolute invincible person. Yeah, I and mean, I'm gonna watch it for sure. Yeah. It's on Prime, by the it's way. Fu- yeah. It's fun and stupid and yeah. good, but I mean, it's just not wasn't anything to write home about. Yeah, if you are just looking for something watchable, yeah, no brain Wonka. Or- so quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that. Reverse it. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Biggest piece of shit I've I ever seen. Well, they're hiding musicals now. You notice that? Yeah, Mean Girls. Mean Girls, Wonka. They're like, it's not a musical. What's that? Dude, yeah. just look at the trailer. There's no music in the trailer. <laughs> Joker is going to be a musical. Dude, uh, I, that's such a misstep. Dead on Arrival, in my opinion. Dude. Yeah, that's such a fucking shame. And, and the fact that it's all, uh, it's not original music. It's all like top 40 shit. It's covers. Are you fucking kidding me? What is there anything about Joker that gives you musical vibes? Dude, yeah, he's the Joker. <laughs> Going off the rails <laughs> on a crazy train. <laughs> I can't think of a worse idea for a sequel, but maybe it's good. Who knows? It sounds like uh the original Beetlejuice 2. Was uh, that gonna be a musical? S- the sequel idea. No. Um Tim Burton they made Beetlejuice and they were like, holy shit, that was great. Let's do another one. And he's like, it was kind of a standalone. I don't really want to do it. They're like, okay, well, we're going to make one. He's like, fuck. So he's like, all right, I'm just going to sabotage the second one. Hell yeah. I'm going to write a bullshit script. And it was called uh, Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian. (laughs) Wait, Tim Burton did this? Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Respect. I'll excuse the racism now. And and then uh, the Warner Brothers was like, oh, no, we we can't make this. He's like, oh, well, this is the movie I'm ready to make. And they're like, oh, yeah. (laughs) Basically, like they, it was in production hell for a long time but it was on purpose because Tim Burton that's was awesome like, he's like I don't want to do this I, don't, I want nothing to do with this it's my property so we're gonna do Beetlejuice goes Hawaiian to just sabotage the production shout out to that yeah yeah that's a good move good move on his part but now he's making Beetlejuice Beetlejuice I've not watched the trailer for that yet I kind of want to go in blind me too it is uh, exactly what you'd expect from a trailer from a teaser trailer from uh, t- 2024 you know slow down cover Yep. No way. <sighs> On Beetlejuice? I was kidding. Beetlejuice? I was what, kidding. what song do you think they did? I wasn't Beetlejuice. Fuck. It's well, been so long since I've yeah, seen that. Yeah, I don't know. What? Deo. Oh, my God. No. Misate. Deo. Deo. I want off this ride that is life, dude. dude. But then when you see Michael Keaton, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> All yeah, right. He's, yeah, he'll win it over for me, but that's... It's a trailer. He whatever. makes a shit movie a good movie. <clears throat> they send it to the same Dude, post when was, house. When was the last Tim Burton movie that was really good? Big I Fish? I can't even remember. Yeah, Big Fish. I loved Big Fish, dude. But I'm saying, like, that might be his last really good movie. Yeah, I'd have to try to recall. I mean, to be fair, like, I like Tim Burton is one of those directors, like, yeah, he's made some kind of shitty shit, but he's also made stuff that, like, I loved growing up. He's meant he's made quintessential things yeah. early in his career. And I think after the big successes, it just kind of gone downhill. He goes, ah, fuck it. He made Dumbo. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Why make the live action one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, let's get Guy Ritchie and Tim Burton to do nothing on uh, this movie. Corpse Bride was fine. Yeah, Corpse Bride was fun. Did he do Frank and Weenie? Because that was good. Yes, he Frankenweenie's did. Is good. I watched that right after my dog died, and that was the wrong move. Oh, oh fuck! No. Fucking shit! That was the wrong move. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's the wrong move, dude. I, I can't do any pet movie. It's it's hard. It's hard. I'll, even that's that rough. even that like silly Mark Wahlberg movie that came out with the dog. That I was like, I bet I would cry. Oh, the uh, Marley and Me. No, oh, no, 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 Arthur the King. Wilson. 
Is that what it is? The new it's one. Like that a just mili- came out? Is it a military dog or something? Yeah, something like not, that. Not military, but like a military guy, or he's doing like an Iron Man competition or whatever, and then a dog starts following him around. That's it, right. Yeah, it's a true yeah. story. Hey, how's it going, dog? <laughs> you coming with me? What's going on here? Dog, and then he kicks its ass for being Asian. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for being an Asian dog. Yeah. What is that? A pug? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they were Chinese royalty. Yeah. You know, 9 11 never would have happened. If I was on that plane. That was a bullet of a cough. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Choked on my Mark Wahlberg impression. Yeah, that movie would probably, as stupid as it is, probably would still make me cry, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the dog started that. following you? <laughs> dude. Yeah. Anything with the dog. I watched uh, this movie called Fluke when I was a kid. It's about like a, a guy that dies and then he, he gets reincarnated as a golden retriever and yeah. his family adopts the golden retriever. Oh, man. And it's a dumb movie looking back, but seeing it when you're six is fucking... Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that movie. Dude. Yeah, that movie was really big sad. Yeah. Like every day the dad would come home and like when the kid was playing, he would steal a train and hide it. Yes. And so the kid would be playing and be like, where'd my train go? And then turn on, oh, dad, you're home. And then when they adopt the dog... It took one of the trains, and then the kid's like, Dad? To the dog. Orf, 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 I'm dad. Well, time to go play football. <laughs> hey, fucking air dad. Yeah. Yeah. Air dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What if Airbud was reincarnated <laughs> with, a, with a dad? They need to bring back Airbud. Just a golden trip. Yeah. 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 What sport does he play now? Fucking rugby. He breaks his whole body. <laughs> <laughs> Pool. <laughs> this is a fucking poor golden retriever with hip dysplasia. Yeah. Airbutt does UFC. <laughs> <laughs> Getting your ass beat by a fucking dog, dude. That'd this be- his ground game's incredible. <laughs> and then they bring in a ringer and it's a pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have to bring a pit bull in. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was just picturing like child. an air dog like or air dad. He's just like a golden retriever and a lazy boy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got up at 6 a.m. today. I'll sleep at 10. <laughs> I'll sleep at 10 a.m. Yeah. Anytime they sit down. <laughs> seven cups of coffee deep. Still still passes out. Yeah. I've had seven cups of black coffee. I got my fucking Bluetooth in. My Bluetooth in. <laughs> I still feel like that, dude. I'll have a cup of coffee and I'm just like still not awake at all. Yeah, yeah that, I get you. Yeah, same. Like, what the fuck, man? What's going on with me? Yeah, I guess I just got to start doing cocaine. You know what I mean? Hey, man, brother. I mean, shit, dude. If Freud gets to and I don't, what the hell? Coffee doesn't work anymore. Gotta upgrade, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Hell yeah, brother. Ripping lines. What else do you want? <laughs> uh, I guess that's it, I think. Hold on. Well, we're pretty deep in this shit. You oh, said you watched two things, right? One more thing. Dream scenario. Oh, Nicolas Cage, huh? Yeah, it's on Max. Which one is that? Because I know he's done a lot recently. Yeah, he's working a lot, but that's the one where uh, people are having dreams about him and he's a teacher. Everyone in the I world. Know, I don't even think I ever heard of that one. About He's like just some average guy, and then <clears throat> it turns out everyone in the world is like dreaming. Like, yeah, this guy's showing up in my dreams, and then people start recognizing him. Like, you're in my dreams, and he's like, what? And so he becomes, he goes viral, he becomes famous. It's it's a dark comedy. Okay. It's it's um, produced by Ari Aster, and you can tell. Okay. It has like that. Doesn't know where to fucking end. <laughs> yeah. It's way better than Bo's Afraid, though. But it has the same anxiety vibes throughout. Okay. It's kind of like. Uh, Basically, take a very innocent person and throw them into stardom and fame, and watch the usual things that happen unfold. Uh, it's like this year's Ed TV. You know what I mean? Ed TV. What is this random cut you tried to? <laughs> <laughs> what is Ed TV? It's like a fucking people with erectile dysfunction on TV. Ed TV. No, it was a whole, <laughs> it's a whole channel dedicated. I still can't get it up. I think it was Matthew McConaughey. He's just a guy that they start a reality show about him, and then he becomes famous, and it's a whole thing. I've never oh, seen you it. told me about this. Uh, okay, all right. The Truman Show. It's basically that before the Truman Show, though. Yeah, but yeah, it's like, it's a commentary on culture and society, like what happens to him and what the I don't want to spoil anything it's hard to talk about without spoiling anything was it any good yeah 3 out of 5 for me 3.5 out of 5 I I enjoyed it very much I'm right it's a dark comedy and has uh, you know better than expected yes yeah and pretty not scary but anxiety inducing Mm. very and the editing was great too they had really cool like yeah you're in my dream and it would just cut to like and then like cut back oh wow that's cool oh what happened and she's like Ah, nothing. <laughs> like, it would flash to their dream. Anytime he would, like, meet someone, it would go to, like, some crazy surrealism and come back. 
oh, that's really kind of cool. Yeah, it was really cool. It was good. I got adaptation vibes from that one. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. Because it's just like an artsy. It's Nicolas less cage. Yes, but it's less like wonky than adaptation. Okay. Like it's like it it does good commentary on culture and it's very funny and very dark at the same time. Fair but enough. there are definite scenes of like Ariaster influence in it where it's just like ah fuck damn mm. don't do it type of shit you know. I'll check yeah. it out. Yeah, it sounds interesting. Yeah, it's on Mac, so check it out. Solid watch. Hey man, brother. It's a movie about night terrors. You know what I'm saying, fuck guys? That shit, dude. Cold fuck sweats. That. You ever That's wake it for up me. in a cold sweat, dude? You ever wake up covered in sweat? Covered oh, in yeah. a puddle of your own sweat? In cum? <laughs> what fluid is this? Speaking of... Oh, yeah. Now it's time for <laughs> Love Lies Bleeding, dude. Yeah! Love Lies Bleeding. The directed Chris- by Rose Glass, who also directed... One of my favorite movies of two years ago, Saint Maud. Saint dude. Maud. That's a dank ass steel. That is sick. And I got my one of my favorite steel books ever, dude. Um, to show it off here, it is the Saint Maud steel book, which was a foreign joint because all the good steel books are some foreign for some reason. True. Mm-hmm. But uh, from Studio Canal and A Twenty Four, who did this movie? Look at that fucking shit, dude. You want to check it out? Physical medium in it. Ooh. Yeah. For the visual listeners. The perfect frame. Very cool. Yeah, it's her getting a nice back pop right there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cool per- scene. Perfect frame to put in the in the middle of the thing. Yeah. Um, when we went to Love Lies Bleeding, I was like, it looked good. Like, the trailer, I was like, yeah, this is, looks like it's going to be a cool A24 movie. Yeah. And I did not expect it to be such a fucking banger, though. And I also didn't know... Who Rose Glass? I knew who she was, but I was like, "Who's Rose Glass?" And you were like, "Saint Maud." I was like, "Oh, well, yeah. then duh, yeah, then yeah. let's go, yeah, then let's fucking absolutely go yeah. all the way, yeah." Do you want to put it out? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah do it, dude. So, yeah, yeah. Dude. Love lies bo- oh, bleeding. Oh, is this belly? Oh yeah, this is belly. This is for Chris. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> to have forever. <laughs> to have forever and to hold. Yeah. Um, love lies bleeding. Kristen Stewart joint. Man, she's born to play this role. For real, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, she, she does not use deodorant, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> Katie O'Brien, dude. She killed it. Literally. Not her first role, but this is basically a uh, coming out party for Katie O'Brien, dude. Hell yeah. She fucking killed it. And you know, she was only casted about two weeks before this movie wow. started filming. That's wild. Yeah. She got that buff that quick? <laughs> she... <laughs> 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 she's been bodybuilding for about 10 years she says she's she said like she was hired at the last minute but she's like but i've been training for this role for about 10 years that's now. sick yeah they saw her in ant-man quantumania and they're like you need Perfect. to be in this that's her RT, RT yeah, movie. they yeah. probably didn't fucking know what the fuck <laughs> ant-man quantumania was they're like fucking whatever dude yeah <laughs> the, the kang movie kang the kang modok dude <laughs> movie about the guy that gets small <laughs> So Rose Glass is my fucking vibe already, dude. Yeah, she's great. She's great. She started off with a religious horror with fucking fucking j- demons and shit, dude, and like thinking Jesus is fucking you. That's pretty cool. Started off with that. Her sophomore effort is bodybuilding women in the 80s or fucking each other and this crime thriller. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm so fucking on board with whatever, whatever Rose Glass wants to do. I'm there yeah. day one, basically. For sure. And this had a very uh, 80s, well, 80s vibes for sure, but the crime thriller duo, it was like you said, it was like the, in the same family, like Natural Born Killers, fucking- True romance. True romance. Which is funny though, uh, she said on purpose, she hasn't watched a lot of those movies that people are referencing because she's like, I don't want to focus on those and like have them- Directly or indirectly influence how this movie is going to play out. She's like, so I've. She said that she's never watched True Romance. She's never seen Thelma and Louise. It kind of makes sense because in those movies they're like in it together and so in love, and in this one, they do fall for each other, but then they're pretty estranged for a big portion of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. by their own delusions, yeah. basically. Facts. Uh, she said the only movies that she used as reference for the actors were Saturday Night Fever. Um, David Cronenberg's Crash mm. and Showgirls <laughs> and Airbud. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, but like, such a unique vibe on her part, though, especially yeah. to not watch the kind of quintessential, like, you know, bad romance situations. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. She it, did listen to Lady Gaga's Bad Romance, though. She did, though. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. 
But um, and the, the music that they picked for this was perfect, fucking perfect. Yeah. Clint Mansell, right? Clint Mansell of Drive fame. Dude. This the, had that it had Reffin vibe to it. Yeah, totally. I mean, did. not just because the music, the like, neon the, vibes, the fucking red. Yeah, dude, the Ed. Uh, what's what's the dad's name? The Ed, Ed Harris. Ed Harris. Ed Harris. Mm. Those shots where it just cut to him drenched in red, pointing the gun. The first time that hit, I was like, "Oh my god, let's fucking go, dude!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, with a skullet, dude, which yeah. was his idea. Oh hell yeah! He was like, "Can I just have like really long hair? Can just I have a grimy dude? <laughs> Can I have the most fucked up hair imaginable?" You know what's funny though is like she's playing Kristen Stewart's dad, and Kristen Stewart's like, "Holy shit, my dad had a skullet." That's crazy. That's awesome. Isn't that weird? He's like, I know I did the research. <laughs> <laughs> I know your dad. He's a method actor. Also, I'm your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my I have to say, I think my favorite thing about this movie, and it usually isn't, but it's so effective in it, is the sound design. Dude. Dude. Let's fucking go all the, it, the way. The, when she's like flexing and it sounds like like water freezing in a pipe or something yeah, like that. Yeah. It's so sick. Especially like even the steroid scenes whenever yeah. like those micro cuts to like the fucking yeah. where she's yeah. like getting bulked the fuck up. When the subtitles will say squelching. Yeah. yeah. You know where it's like just oh, fucking just them throwing a wet towel for the That's for that that's that Cronenberg influence for sure. Like that body horror type of shit that she's like very much uh, about which consequently make, made sense for Ma, Saint Maud yeah. and then to kind of do that also again for because Saint Maud was very visceral in that way too remember she puts the Chest- na- the nails in her shoes yeah oh yeah but also there was like morphing shit where she would be like yeah. on the stairs and going ah and then her mouth would extend and then it cuts away yep that's like her style is like brief like wait is that real a brief body dysmorphia right brief surrealistic <laughs> Body I got body dysmorphia from this girl's <laughs> giant jaw. Yeah. She unhooked it Brief like an body anaconda. Horror, is what yeah. I meant. Yeah. yeah. Like she, it will constantly cut to like, like, oh, something like, wait, was that a lizard that just like, like she's going She-Hulk and yeah. then it just cuts away. You're like, wait, is she imagining that? Like, it's the same vibe as St. Maud where it's like, is it in her head? And then it's also the same vibe as St. Maud where it's like, it's not in her head. And here's a cut to reveal. She's just puking on stage. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like, and then, or like in St. Maud, it's like cut to her just, ah! <laughs> like but dude, fire. the visual of that and the pure shock factor of like, oh shit, they're doing men but good. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Dude, when she pukes up Kristen Stewart on stage, I was dude, my jaw dropped. I was like, no way, they're going there. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I love the cuts to reality. That oh, is, there goes gravity. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. monster spaghetti. I love the ride of going. Wait, is this real or is this a dream? Yeah, because she makes you ask that question multiple times throughout her movies, oh, which is really man. fun. We're like, wait, are we going surreal? Yeah. Well, St. Maud we... was the perfect example of that, the very end of St. Maud. Yeah. Like, is she getting fucked by God? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he does work in mysterious ways. Yeah. <laughs> that thing he does. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this had that with a much more dialed in and experienced like vibe and tone. Like St. Maud was great, but this it was movies. much more like comfortable in its own skin. Like yeah. it's very, it's, it's, dude. The also the anxiety of a lot of scenes where, like, I mean, naturally the whole movie's a pretty anxious thing. It's, it feels sort of safety ish. I yeah, I can fuck with that, uh, especially with the music too. But they're like the scene with uh, Kristen Stewart, Katie O'Brien, Dave Franco, and oh, uh, Dave Franco's good too. Uh, who oh, fuck? Ed Harris. No, 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 no. The wife of Dave Franco. Oh, um, Jenna Malone. Jenna Malone. Yes. Who also the fact that she's in this movie fucking awesome. That is another neon work. demon reference, dude. Yeah, another reference thing. So yeah. much reference. Clint Menzel and the neons, yeah. and then she's like, Jim "Oh, well, I'll just take that and easy." Yeah. Yeah. We talk about unmotivated reds a lot, but motivated red, dude. dude. That, the fucking soda machine. Yeah, so, casting the red light so on him. So sick. Yeah, because like, so he's casted in red, like you know, dream and evil and all that. And there was a scene in the hospital where Ed Harris comes up to Kristen Stewart and was like, <laughs> and then he's illuminated half by red, sick. just illum- like that sort of just cool little tonal color homage to his evil was cool where it was like yeah that that use of red for him was common and i liked the soda machine going being a practical motivator that was yeah. really cool yeah dude even the bugs dude <laughs> it just yeah the, oh the bugs what the hercules beetle or whatever yeah like, yeah he's lo- breeding the strongest beetles the way that he's like like he the way he takes an interest in the strongest woman it's yeah. so sick yeah yeah and then whenever he has to kill you know, in his mind, he's like, okay, well, you know, now we have to kill my daughter, basically. And then he fucking eats one of the Hercules beetles, dude. Jesus. Fucking rough. 
He's like, it's like she's my daughter. <laughs> Like the movie Seven. Like, like the, the movie, movie seven. seven. The bug is a metaphor for, all right, cut to the next scene. And then it's like fucking. <laughs> ba -da -ba. And then he gets dragged off stage by a cane. Yeah. <laughs> there's we were... a guy with a red light. Like, no, not this scene. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, fuck. And we were with the perfect audience for this, too. Like, kind of. Yeah. All lesbians? Basically. It was an LGBT crowd, dude. Let's like, go, dude. It, it was uh, a screening that, were, that was catered to LGBT groups, plus press, which we were. I think it. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, and they were having a fucking grand old time, man. They were really happy. I they imagine just be being in that group, Chris, and um, <laughs> and just like, oh fuck, like this is what I I haven't seen on screen in probably a really long time. Where it's like a crime movie, and it's not just about like romance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's, it's not like, like a macho dude. It's like thing. oh, we get a yeah. genre film. Like mm -hmm. fuck yeah, yeah. That's what I, it felt like to me. Yeah, I d they were very vocal about their enjoyment. Which oh really? Yeah, it's it wasn't annoying. It, it was at some parts because the commentary started to ramp up towards the end. Like someone opened it up, yeah, and yeah. then it started. Then they started going, you know, just like, all right, this isn't Rocky Horror Picture Show. So. <laughs> yeah, they started tagging every scene with some sort really? of like shit, and then shut up. Uh uh. Yeah, <sighs> is she? And just like fucking yeah. commenting on shit. Typical loud gaze. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I was just like, ah, please don't. Like, I yeah. just want to watch the movie, but you in no world can I ever say anything of course in a room in a theater full of gay people a straight white guy to be like can you keep it down it's basically a hate crime yeah <laughs> it's basically just <laughs> so say please be quiet during the movie yeah yeah, be yeah quiet yeah. during the movie yeah, yeah. exactly I'm like it's, fuck you know like there i just had to tolerate it chris is like hey can you keep it down <laughs> <laughs> heal chris yeah and they're already on twitter canceling me yeah, like yeah. fuck I don't know, like, there's there was a guy close to us that was fuming, dude. Oh, um, yeah? He kept coughing, like, while they, like, if they were talking, he'd just be like, ah, um. <laughs> Yeah. Ahem. Yep. Um. Ah. Yeah. He's revving up like a fucking motorcycle. He yeah. Was, he was big mad. He was stewing. That's hilarious. I was, like, kind of mad, but it wasn't super distracting, but it was enough to be like, please stop. Yeah, he also didn't say anything to them, which was good for him. Yeah, yeah, uh, just stewed and got an aneurysm. Basically, yeah. yeah. I like how the studio basically was like, they go, "Well, we're it's a there's a gay relationship. Just invite everyone gay to this <laughs> press screening." That's how studios work. I know. They're like, "Hey, this movie's about the ocean. Invite, invite the sharks." The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking, dude. We'd be working on a movie about uh, I don't know, dude. We're, we're oh, fuck. I'm trying to think. Oh, a movie about a guy that makes a robot that's supposed to be his friend. It's like a dark comedy, and they're like, invite a, a robot technicians. And yeah. yeah, like guys a bunch of yeah. autistic engineers. C guys that in. build robots. They're like, I don't want to see and it. Computer pro <laughs> invite computer programmers to watch this movie. It's like, really, dude? I do not like to watch a movie. Yeah, binary people that work in binary code. <laughs> just going, I would not. So imagine that. working on the Justice League. Like, Can you guys find Batman to attend this? <laughs> Yeah. Men who work with bats. Yeah. Like Anybody that. whose parents died in an alley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a bunch of sad people in the theater. Like, we're going to mad at It's like, is, uh, can you find anybody whose mothers died in the Amazon while researching <laughs> spiders? Oh, my God. There's one person. It's like, it's actually made for me. I super relate to Madam Web yeah. in that regard. <laughs> five out of five. I'm yeah. finally feel represented on yeah. screen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like they asked that, and it's like, okay, yeah, sure. Two people showed up. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. this the screening. But why didn't you fill it completely yeah. with technicians? Yeah, dude, and and engineers. Like that's literally what happened. They're a little busy. Engineering. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For real. But yeah, we had the gayest audience imaginable. <laughs> like they were also like something would happen and like there would be snaps. Oh yeah. That thing I was like, Jesus Christ. I'm a straight guy, so whatever, but I, I didn't mind it. I thought it was fun. Just, I thought it was that's fun just corny. That's weird. That's corny as shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And snapping. I'm I'm late for my spoken word poetry <laughs> yeah. to get to after this. It's like it's like silently doing yas. You know? Yeah. It's, well, not silently or snapping, but yeah. it's like the sass. It's a sassy clap. <sighs> yeah. Not. Also, don't don't even if that's if that's supposed to be in place of clapping, do not do it because you're at a movie. You're yeah. at a movie, so do not do that. Yeah. It, and like I said, this, I'm, I'm ranting about this, but it's just because it was in a theater. Right. That's why it was like annoying a little bit. It wasn't like pulling me out, but it was killing my serious vibes when like shit was popping off in a crime thril thriller. Yeah. To have their like commentary and tag yeah, on like shit was Dave kind Franco's of annoying. jaws on his forehead and they're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get his ass. <laughs> Get his ass. <laughs> like shit like that. It was just like, ah. 
Dave Franco was fucking great. He was this. great. Yeah, yeah, he was. And it was perfect casting too because he, he's like very unassumable as as a fucking abuser. He plays actor. a great grimy dude. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of perfect for that. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Why? His brother. Oh yeah, he's a predator and stuff. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> and stuff. Allegedly. Allegedly. Just say predator, dude. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> to the Franco don't say documentary. And stuff. <laughs> don't say and stuff. Just say he's a predator. Dad, there's like whores here and stuff. Sweetheart, how many times have I told you? Don't say and stuff. Just say, Dad, there are whores here. But shout out to Dave Franco who did a great job. Jenna Malone did a great job. Uh, dude, her makeup. Her makeup was good. Bruh. I mean, just stylistically they fucking nailed it they really really did i liked uh also kristen stewart's uh her journey with like trying to quit cigarettes the entire time yeah that was which brutal. was it came from a real place because at the time rose glass was trying to quit cigarettes she's like i just needed to add this in there because it was such a big thing for me at the time it it's, makes it even more three-dimensional like yeah, the, yeah yeah but also it it's so funny that it seems like an afterthought for her but it was such a cool part of the movie like yeah like, i guess character trait she was trying to quit, and then when she, like, the final scene, she, everybody's like, oh, she's going to pull out a cigarette. Like, when she's in the background, yeah. dragging a body, and then it's like, oh, here it comes, and then, yep, so you're like, let's go, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, no, it, it gives you, yeah. <laughs> yes, queen. Yeah, smoke it. Dude, no, because it's perfect, because you wouldn't ever think it's an afterthought, because it's a perfect, like, it gives you perfect insight as to where she is emotionally yeah. for yeah. her character. Like, And it's a perfect just Sorry, go ahead. No, that's pretty It's much a it. perfect just position between her and Katie O'Brien, who Katie O'Brien is very disciplined, and she has the wherewithal and, and the mindset to be able to build body build for a living, to be able to enter a competition and be this fucking hulking person who doesn't even want egg yolks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she's just so focused, and Kristen Stewart can't even quit, like, a thing that she knows is killing her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like... Dude, it's, she works out as a homeless person. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing chin-ups on the freeway and shit. It, it, it's just a perfect juxtaposition for the for both of them. And I love that Rose Glass, when, when she was talking about the first time that Kristen Stewart sees uh, Katie O'Brien at the gym, like when she's like, oh my fucking God, she's yeah. it for the first time. She said that the movie that she referenced for that was uh, The Mask, whenever, <laughs> whenever Jim Carrey first sees Cameron Diaz. That's perfect. That's funny. Yeah, and she's like, yeah, it's, she's like, I, I fucking love that movie. It's a masterpiece. And also, I referenced that whenever she, she's like, I just wanted unadulterated fucking passion for mm. for a thing. You know what I mean? Their their passion is like what you think love should be. Sort right, of, right. Where yeah. you're just like, oh, the, I love or, you, you fucking idiot. Yeah, ride or die immediate. Yeah, like and you're on site. Die. On site. Yeah. <laughs> it's on site, ride or die. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, that was that was fucking like oh I don't like the yolks in it. it just shows her taking out yolks like right after that like yeah. forever. Yeah, and then like yeah, you can stay with me like immediately. Yeah, like right off the shut bat. up. You're staying here. Yeah, yeah. You're like Aww. I love their masochist sort of relationship too. Like how it was like a like a, they both were too not emotionally immature but they were too like hard to talk about anything yeah yeah they but had toxic masculinity as women basically yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 they were just and that caused most of their problems because they lacked communication but also well also the fucking steroids that made her fucking delusional <laughs> you got fucking heroin track marks yeah on fucking, also yeah. the lsd steroids that she was shooting <laughs> up apparently yeah but um it's just straight up pcp yeah <laughs> just lifting cars <laughs> <laughs> but um they're so like, like, yeah, it's PCP. PRs? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, how are you hitting that fucking squat for him? It's amazing. PCP. Liquid PCP shot into my butt, actually. It's good. It's fucking sick, dude. Pretty it's, cool. It's so. good. I don't know what to tell you. That's what I'm taking right now. I'm on PCP. Oh, Zempic PCP. <laughs> <laughs> um, Losing weight and tripping fucking <laughs> balls out. Uh, what a nightmarish <laughs> existence that would be. <laughs> I'm the best. Uh, I feel the best. I've this kind of tastes like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Ugh! Like meanwhile, you're eating your dog. Yeah, <laughs> being stared at by like the nightmare creatures from Bloodborne. Yeah. Just... <laughs> the little guys. Yeah. <laughs> little guys are in your neighborhood. <laughs> little guys haven't spotted indoors. They do not move on sight. Little guys. These little guys have this target Zeke who holds in Bargoville, Oklahoma. They feed on confusion. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love That's, that. And they're just. <laughs> That shit is hilarious. It is thought that little guys gay sustenance from the confusion of humans. They just rearrange shit. <laughs> yeah. Little guys. Little guys. <laughs> little guys. I love that the shit. The found footage. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dumbest found footage ever. <laughs> yeah. Little guys. Little guys. Little guys. Wow, dude. Just this fucking movie. 
really good. Yeah, the violence was fucking in your face. I loved the raw violence of it. There's Sick. something else, dude. The scene, going. okay, the actual scene itself where she fucks up Dave Franco and the way she steps out of the shadows dude. and he's like, no, 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 like, dude, the, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And she's, dude, the nonstop slamming, and you're like, oh, he's so dead. He's his head is completely he's rearranged. He's the most dead. Yeah, and the motherfucker can be. Yeah, and they cut to that brief shot of his just jaw, just, uh, yeah. just the ring girl in the closet, yeah, basically yeah. just. <laughs> When you nut, but you don't stop sucking. <laughs> and we'll put it right there. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go to it. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to talk about uh, the cat. There was like a... Remember the scene where... Mm. Oh, oh, the fucking... The, the simp... Like little yeah, girl, yeah, the, yeah, with a, a nasty teeth. Anna Korishnikov is her name. Yeah, she was basically she's fucking great. She was this. great as that character. Sim- like you Sim- fucking hate her guts, but like th- what a thankless performance that is yeah, from her. Yeah. At first she's like, oh, poor girl, really loves Kristen Stewart, and then it becomes like, oh, I'm blackmailing you until you fuck my brains out. Yeah, which <laughs> is wild. Never call here again. She's over you. You know, yeah. the whole fucking that was a creepy ass scene too. Yep. Yeah. Her creepy death. Shit. Oh, th- that was creepy. But her death. Yeah, scene, her death was rough. That was fucking crazy. Where good. she throws up and she's like, ugh, and then she gets splattered with blood and she's like, wait. <laughs> and then she and then Katie Brown tries to shoot Kristen Bell. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, oh man, I love that dude. That was so good. Yeah. And, and then the anxiety of the FBI showing up at that moment. Yeah. You're like, why? Yeah. The her, fuck? Just, her just cleaning up bodies left and right. Yeah. Like the yeah. whole movie. She's just, pretty good at it at this point. Yeah. I mean, now we know why. Yeah. She has experience. She fucking did it, dude. It. She's a bad person. Dude. <laughs> uh, the cat. Yeah. So basically, I was laughing because she had to hide a body. Uh, from the FBI, and she just stuffed it behind the couch, essentially. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, and the FBI is like, so, what's what's going on over here? What you been doing? And then the cat's, like, going over to the body in the corner, like, licking, and, like, she's like, oh, fuck. The cat's, like, drawing attention, but I was laughing because I was like, what if the cat's just like, yes, destroy the evidence. <laughs> yeah, mom, I'm helping. Licking of the blood. Yeah. yeah the perfect crime. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff her behind the couch and eat the blood. Yeah. <laughs> Good Dude. kitty. Good kitty. The part that fucking made us howl laughing, dude, the crater scene. Oh my god! So that the, they get rid of the evidence. They, you know, Dave Franco dies. Spoilers, whatever. Fuck you. Uh, they yeah, they go, go see it. Drive the car off the cliff. Very Thelma and Louise like actually, yeah, yeah. even though she's never seen it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she probably has a passive knowledge. Yeah, of that. exactly. Yeah. Anyways, car goes off the cliff and it like lands in this crater thing hole. Uh, and then the police have to go down and like, oh yeah, dude, fucking lost it in the theater because it's like uh, you're just like, hey, what's down there? Because they had a whole scene planned like in uh, pre-production and then in, in the the storyboards and everything where it's like they show everything that's down there. Wow! And it became too expensive; they couldn't do it, and they're like, fuck, we don't better know. this way. So it's just you're just looking down the crater, and then the guy's like, fuck. <laughs> And they're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you think? No, 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 first they're like, hey man, what'd you, what do you see down there? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> we were dying. Yeah, nobody no, else was, was laughing. No, no, nobody else laughed. It was just a fastball right to our humor. It was perfect, dude. dude. Fuck! Because you it's don't a don't wide see shot. Him. Yeah, the it's wide, a wide sh- shot of the abyss, the, yeah. the canyons, and just a, a lone guy down there finds a hundred bodies and just goes, Fuck! <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Dude, that that shit fucking was perfect, man. Oh, unintentionally funny, or maybe I think it was humorous. It was for sure intentional. That, I think. Oh, I lost it. Where did you see it in theaters? Yes. How was your theater experience? Uh, like, it drank, was, like, it was Jack actually, Daniels, and <laughs> <laughs> I whacked my dick off and <laughs> fell asleep and ripped a line of coke yeah. and fell asleep with my flaccid cock out. Yeah, as you do at a normal screening. <laughs> Wait, so I can't jerk off at Love Lies? Yeah. Bleeding? Uh, no, it was it was actually fine. Surprisingly, it was a late showing, which usually those are shit at my theater, but it was fine. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah it's like, not really a a big ticket seller. I don't what think. did uh, Christina think? So that was really good. Yeah. yeah, she didn't love it as much as I did, but she enjoyed it. Yeah. Did she like Dune too? I forgot to ask you about that. We have not watched it yet. Together. Together. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> I didn't watch it in the first place. I made up everything I said. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, wait, <laughs> wait a second. No, yeah, no. She. Yeah, just I forgot you went it. alone. Yeah. yeah. Loser. 
<laughs> Loser. No friends. No bitches. <laughs> no bitches. Dude, I have been going to. I got the Alamo season pass, so I've been going a lot. Going alone is fucking awesome. It's, it's great. It's great. I Dude, it. I ate an edible and saw Dune Part <laughs> 2 recently. Fucking ate some spice and went to Spice World. Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was locked in, man. It's I was in. My, go, dude. I ate a quarter of an edible and just fucking tunnel vision into that movie. I got transported, dude. That's awesome. Han's score. I was just like, <laughs> dude, yeah, it'll fucking do it, man. I don't know. Bro. Alamo, though, really? Yeah. Did it hit hard at the Alamo? When you're on an edible, I guess. I, don't, I mean, I didn't eat IMAX. If I did an edible and went to IMAX, I would have my ass have would a turn panic attack. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but Alamo was fine. I was just like third row, pretty close. Just fucking, wow. Just fucking in it. Sorry, I have to pee pee. No, you're good. Are you five years old that you can't hold your water? <sighs> you're so annoying I know. having to piss. And cock. <laughs> you might have prostate cancer. Look into it. <laughs> Will do. You may have prostate cancer. Look into it. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> Look into it. <laughs> Will do. Will do. But he like dances his yeah. head to that part. Yeah. Will do. <laughs> Will do. Out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> Four big guys and they come in my eyes. Four. That song is so funny. Have you ever listened to the whole thing? No, just that part. 20 million plays on Spotify, by the way. I'm going to cut it in here. Four big guys and they bust on my eyes. The artist made 75 cents so far from those 20 million plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bad. Sorry, guys. Josh I'm pissed during your stupid takes. Dude. Piss Fuck take. you. Fuck you, dude. That was a really fast piss, by the way. You could almost say it was a Louisiana fast piss. <laughs> Louisiana fast. Could argue. Louisiana fast. <laughs> I'm picturing heel, Josh, like if you actually get into WWE, you just come out and say fuck you and leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, no wrestling. Yeah. And it's just that part from Dwayne The Rock Johnson's music. Yeah. And then it just cuts over to you just standing at the top of that ramp. Fuck you. Frick you, man. Fuck you, dude. And then you disappear. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, there's Hugh Judge. I don't like this guy. <laughs> it's like you're standing at like in the rafters, like you're about to come down like that style, and then you're like, It's like Sting, I but he never it. shows up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that video or that clip of Sting, like in the fucking yeah, top yeah, yeah. rafters. Just... He would dude, that was so fucking hype when he did that, because he would just show up like that and then he wouldn't do anything. That's so sick. That's it was so crazy. Just, dude, he would just show up and everyone's like, oh my fucking God, what is he going to do? And then he just disappears. <laughs> like, what? That's so funny. Uh, dude, it's fucking hype as shit, dude. Yeah. Wrestling's great, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling's so cool, man. I fucking love wrestling, dude. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. All right, so we're, what were we talking about? The uh, lesbians. Oh, uh, yeah. Did the fuck thing. Oh, yeah, lots of sex scenes in this one. This made me uncomfortable with how many I don't sex like scenes. it when people engage in the most natural act that's a part of our human existence. Heavy, heavily pushed by Kristen Stewart. Cool. She wanted to do all these, and she she didn't choreograph them. They had an intimacy coordinator, but uh, she did very much influence the script and was like, no, we need to make these, like, real. Yeah. Like, real dirty and fucking yeah. grimy. and Yeah, I'm going to lick her sweaty asshole after she works out. And it's going to yeah. be hot. Yeah. And it was. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah. cool. Oh. I like that. Oh. Pretty great. Oh. When, she, when she's fucking eating the protein shake off of her chest. Yeah, that was oh, sick. Because that was part of like a montage type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Come on. That was so what sick. Are what are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. That's not cool. You don't want to see that? I'm fucking cool with that, dude. What it's are you, not stupid? Porn I don't get the complaint. It's not pornographic. It's just like, it's, it's a stylistic. It's, it's a cool visual. It's like, it shows their relationship. Everybody wants a little like, like, ooh, that was sexy type of relationship. Well, they're romanticizing relation, like, well, romance. Romance. So yeah. you're, you're cool. Like, you're not cool with showing sex scenes, but it's like totally fine to show people getting shot in the fucking head. Yeah. And you get their I mean? faces typical, beaten in on a coffee table. Yeah. 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 Typical American, like, prude. I mean, I'm not saying like Gen Z is like representing like American, but like, yeah, like we censor the nipple, but yeah, we can watch somebody get decapitated on the news. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, and like, that was Rose Glass's point uh, for showing both. She's like, oh, yeah, I wanted it to be both sides murder and sex. Like, that's love or violence and Lies sex and bleeding. Yeah. Had plenty of that. Super neat. Because they lied and they bled. They were yeah. on their periods. They I, bled. I think at the Angelica, they had Love Lies Bleeding, but the title had periods in it, like love. Lies. lies. Ble bleeding. I was like, okay, you guys are dumb, dude. Yeah, they were, I mean, that's I love Angelica, but I was like, whoever did this is Yeah, an they're like, you see, the I got it more than you got it. Yeah, yeah. that's what the title's implying that's without implying yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, 
that that person doing that was like, "There, I'm gonna blow people's fucking minds." With like this. real eyes, real eyes, real, real eyes. eyes. Holy Dude, fuck! It's like an eye robot. He's <laughs> like, "I am a robot." Oh Dude. my god! <laughs> what the fuck, big fish? There's fish. The big, the fish are big. <laughs> it's big fish. <laughs> I like the big fish. <laughs> What's fucking. this movie called? <laughs> Just fucking getting fatter as yeah. they're talking. <laughs> as they're talking. <laughs> Big fish. Just inflating. <laughs> <laughs> like Veruca Salt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's What else on Love Lies Bleeding? I don't know that I have a whole lot more, man. I, okay, all right. I will say this. The very ending. The insane surrealism. The She-Hulk. Dude, I fucking loved every second of that. You know, they, awesome. that is foreshadowed uh, in the apartment. In the apartment? She's watching cartoons with a gigantess that is picking up ah. a man and doing one of these things. Oh, that's sick. That's cool. Yeah, I noticed that on my second watch. little vor action. Yeah. I don't honestly know how I feel about the that moment of the surrealism, because when it happened, I was like, okay. Thought right. it was too far? I think so. Looking back, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Okay. You liked the more subtle, like, bulging muscles cutaway type of shit? Yes. But it's kind of all leading up to that moment. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, that is for sure, like, a convergence of, like, the craziest concepts of the movie with, like, her, like, Kristen Stewart's, like, perception of her. Mm -hmm. like, That's exactly that, what I was about to say. Like, that makes sense. I don't know if I liked it in execution. Mm. Okay, this, but you were fine with the bu the the puking her girlfriend, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I wanted. to say. I was yeah. fine with her vomiting up Kristen Stewart, but she got a little too big at the end there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. I mean, one affected you more than the other, so I mean, yeah, yeah. okay, I get it. I get the the ending was a bit ham fisted, but I liked the climax of that surrealism because even still, after the bodybuilding thing. Even still, I was going, wait a second, is she a fucking yeah. superhero right now? Yeah. Like, there was a moment where I was like, w and, and then... Because I was like, how are they going to pull this off? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of my thinking. Like, how are they going to justify how big she is right now? Yeah. <laughs> and, and Kristen Stewart not going, what the fuck? You know? Yeah. Like, and and then as she stayed, like, standing over him, like, pinning him down, I was like, oh, she's just pinning him down in the driveway. And yeah. That's, and the longer she stayed big, I was like, okay, this is just yeah. a perception, surrealism, manifestation thing. Also was fucking gnarly when she fucking deep-throated him with the gun. Yeah, dude. that was sick. Mm -hmm. Like, basically, like... Slamming it in his fucking throat, ready yeah. to blow his fucking head off. He's like, oh, no, no. like, yeah. I was like, oh shit, dude, this is fucked up, man. Yeah, fucking bleeding. Didn't she rip? What did she do? Didn't she rip somebody's arms off? It wasn't him, was it? She didn't rip anybody's arms. It looked at first like she ripped his arms off. Oh, at and the end, the, and, she was and, just holding him down. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, that's because right. that's what I thought at first. Yeah, I, I was like, what the gonna, fuck? Yeah, just she fucking, fucking de winged him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. Like, like a beetle. Oh. Oh. oh, she eats her. Oh. She's like, like the beetle from earlier, <laughs> <laughs> like the movie seven, like the movie seven, like the movie seven. <laughs> What's I, in the box? Yeah. <laughs> What's but, in the box? I love even the ending after they. Oh wait, no, it was this was right before on the tennis court. She like almost shoots her. Yeah, like that little fight. I love you, you idiot. Oh Fucking yeah, yeah, idiot. Yeah. It was so endearing. Dumb bitch. Yeah, she rescues her and then she lashes out immediately. She's like, what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're against me. I'm literally rescuing you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? After like, oh, you sorry. tried to shoot me earlier, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me PCP steroids. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my bad. You got me addicted to roids. <laughs> yeah. But the trailer kind of ruins the uh, the very, very ending of the movie where um, uh, Anna Krishnikov is still alive at the end. I don't remember that. from. I watched the trailer one time when it first came out. And mm. by, the, I, by the time I watched the movie, I had no memory of that. So it's, it's, who's still alive at the end? The girl, the, the stalker girl, the stalker girl. There's a brief moment of her like sitting up in the back of the truck, which causes Kristen Stewart to stop. If you Wasn't remember, she shot in the head, Sh through the neck. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's her. okay. I thought it was through the cheekbone. I'm yeah. pretty sure it was the neck. Oh. Yeah, if you don't hit the brain, you know, like Sicario too. Yeah, exactly. You, you, can, survive, <laughs> you can survive a headshot. Survive anything, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Especially in a realistic Denny V sequel. Anyways, um. She's Hates she's still too. like she's still rolling around in the backseat of the car like in the rug or whatever. Yeah, I love that. You just see the, the rug moving, but it was spoiled in the trailer. They have that scene, so I was waiting for that scene. Oh, almost the entire movie because I love that trailer so much. But that's on me, dude. I keep I watch the trailer and I fucking <laughs> fall in love with it, and then I I fucking watch it to death. Yeah, you know what I mean. 
Yeah, that's the one downside of trailers is because you you're like, wait a second, I haven't seen a knife yep. getting pushed into somebody's chest yet. And yeah. the movie's wrapping up. Right. Oh wait, the killer's back. There, yep. Here comes the shot I saw in the trailer. Exactly. That is a kind of a rough thing about that. Yeah. But if you if there's enough I time, love a good trailer, man. I, I do my best not to watch a trailer unless the only time I really is if everyone is like, You gotta watch this, you have to, it's so cool. Or if I'm in the movie and they're showing it to me. Yeah. There's that. But also sometimes if you're skeptical about seeing something, I okay, here's what I do sometimes is I will be like, I don't know if I want to see this. I put it on trailer and as soon as I'm convinced, I turn it off. Mm. Okay. I'll be like, okay, yeah, I'm in. Yeah. And then maybe I'll pick up the trailer at, at the end to see artistically what they did with it. Because trailers are an art. They yeah, truly, sure. truly can be. They can be dog shit, but they can also be like, oh, this is art. And sometimes trailers are better than the actual movie. True. You know? So true. I think it. Nope. I think it's about. Yeah. Or sorry, uh, us. us. Yeah. Us. That yep. trailer's fucking amazing, man. But um, it I, also kind of depends on the director too and how they want to present it. There's that too because it's like no, you're not using this fucking shot. Fuck you. Yeah. Some directors have the, the clout. Like, Fuck, man. Yeah. Some editors have the how clout. Editors to- are. You know what I mean. <laughs> Totally, man. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Ha- have an artistic vision, contribute creatively to the art. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, fucking dude. annoying, dude. <laughs> but some directors that have enough clout will have creative control over their trailers. Yeah. And those, you're like, oh, I'm watching a Nolan trailer for sure. Right. Like, oh, I'm watching, like... Because you know ex- he is exactly so precise in the way that it's presented. And yeah. He has final say. You know he does. And Snyder trailers, of course, are going to hit hard, even they, even, they might, the even when the movie shit. is shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great trailer director. He's he's perfectly right down the middle of absolute sack of dog shit and a great movie. <laughs> like, everything he's done, it's either that or that. <sighs> Sort of, yeah. Sucker punch, dude. I mean, what's yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I mean, like he he does trailers long form. He does long form trailers in a yeah. sense. Like, yeah, it's not like, almost never like a full movie, fully realized film right. story. Yeah, he does. Ha- he does hit sometimes. I mean, Three Hundred's a masterpiece, and yeah. Watchmen, Watchmen is, is fun. really one of the best comic book movies ever made. I think Watchmen is fucking good. I mean, panel good. for panel, like it's like. like Another one where it's like the sex scene unnecessary. Fuck you. Oh, with Marlon Ackerman. Yeah. <laughs> Who, I, I don't care about what they think. Honestly, someone yeah. doesn't like a scene. That's fine, but they can't. The fucking they should still be okay to make that. This scene. is why we can't watch Pornhub in Texas anymore. <laughs> yeah, the fucking Rorschach prison fight scene is uh, the hardest shit ever. With the fucking oil, with the, yeah, the fry grease that he spills uh, on the guy. Ah, ah, but like the line, dude, yes. his line. He's like, you think I'm stuck in here with you? You're stuck in here with me. Fucking goddamn my dick, dude. dude the fucking know? the panel with Ozymandias where he's like, do you really think I would have invited you, you here and monologued for 35 minutes if I didn't already do my plan? Yeah. You guys are idiots. Yeah. That's so hard. And every Dr. Manhattan scene I loved. Oh, oh yeah. Just the one of the greatest dick. characters. Just it's, Seriously. The b- benevolence of him just be like, I don't fucking care. <sighs> yep. Zap. <laughs> and I love that so and much. And Billy Crudup as Dr. Manhattan, who's perfect. Yeah. Literally perfect as Dr. Manhattan. Yeah. That guy fucks, man. Yeah. I love that dude. Just conceptually being a god is so interesting. Yeah. Like accidentally, just a he just started forming in a like a nervous system is walking around the kitchen. Like yeah. I love that shit. Dude. Yeah. Amazing. And then when he finally forms, he's just like, Yeah, space and time doesn't mean anything to me. And yeah. I'll be in ten places at once and you're getting older every How second. How dare you in, be in bed with me when you're working? And he's like, I don't give a shit. I don't yeah. care. Your emotions are literally nothing right now. Yeah. Like, dude, the embodiment of fucking ambivalence and just like fucking nothing is anything. Like, yeah. yeah like, just achieve like peak <laughs> stoicism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm is power. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, Love Lies Bleeding. What were we talking about? Snyder. Oh, I wanted to mention JRE. Did you guys listen to it? Was Zack Snyder? No. It's pretty good. Yeah. It might piss you off. Yeah, I, I that clip really did piss me what off. What clip? He's talking about Batman, and he's like, uh, it's fucking, uh, he's like, it's fucking stupid that people don't want Batman to kill. That makes his character limited. And it's like the canon rule, he doesn't yeah, kill. Yeah, right? it's his whole, not his whole thing, but it's one of his... I, That's like him saying, like, you know what, dude, Spider-Man doesn't need to be, he doesn't need spider powers. That's reductive. Yeah. Like, are you... F- a fucking dumb shit idiot. Oh yeah, I guess you are because you're the director of Sucker Bunch. Yeah. I mean, there was a clip going around where he was basically like, because there was a situation. What is it in Justice League? 
or um, Batman v Superman. Yeah, he kills someone in Batman v Superman, right? Dude, or no, no, sorry, Superman is what he's talking about, right? No, he's talking about Batman. He's talking about Batman killing people, and oh. he's sticking up for the fact that Batman kills people. And yeah. I was sort of like, when I watched it the first time, I was like, I fucking hate this. I hate this aspect, but I'm going to essentially ignore it mm. because maybe it's just he just didn't care. Yeah. yeah. But when you see this interview, he's like, oh yeah, I don't give a shit about him killing people. It makes him better. I'm like, oh, okay. You just don't know Batman then. In That's the, cool. In Sort of, yeah. Basically, he just kind of justified betraying canon. Like he, yeah. He, in a way, he was like, which when I listened to the whole interview, I was like, he kind of has like a decent point, but I don't think it justifies betraying like hundred years of like a character's lore that's just like his one thing like if anything you could get rid of you can get real riddle of, of a lot of batman canon stuff honestly in my opinion yeah i think you can and still be okay dude tim burton made the joker kill batman's parents you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. yeah there are things that you can do that's like okay for your interpretation sure but he can't kill people can't that kill go- the very character itself that yeah. goes against literally everything that batman stands for Mm -hmm. he's trying to do it so that no one gets killed ever again on his watch right that's why the killing joke is so impactful yes yeah yes but but also like he brought up an interesting like thought experiment where it was like so are you saying batman will never like never ever be in a situation that like hey this like i've got a gun to this person's head and i'm gonna pull the trigger and if you don't kill me, I will kill her. He's just like, well, I can't kill, so I guess you have to kill an innocent person. Like, that thought experiment is interesting to me. I'm sure that Where that has like, been explored in at least one comic issue. Yes, but Dude, also a hundred years. Com- comic book Chris- fans defend this by going, well, don't write that scene. I guess. I know, right? It's a weird, like, double-edged sword. I mean, Chris Nolan, Chris Nolan's Batman killed. Ra's al Ghul, right? Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. But is, he justified it in saying, you know, well, I don't have to kill you, but I don't have to save you either. And because this is a creation of your own design. Like mm. he, he also he, prevented so many other deaths by doing that. Exactly. He's like, cope, cope, cope. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no, loophole. But, I didn't kill anyone. I just didn't help him. I didn't kill him. Well, Rachel Ghoul is going to k- destroy Gotham anyways. Granted, he's not planning on dying, but it's like, this is this is your doing. You did this. Yeah. And, plus, Plus in the comics, you can assume that maybe at that point the Lazarus Pit could have been conceptualized in that run of movies because that was still the first movie and Rachel Gould does come back from the Lazarus Pit mm. in the comics a few times. Yeah, well, in the comics, yes, of course, but I think... It's Chris- not a guaranteed death, right, is what right. you're saying. Yeah. Right? But you could still fucking argue it in your mind, with, yeah. you know. I mean, the interview had some good moments in it. I would recommend it. But it also had some... Like, that is an interesting thought experiment, but it is a bit of an edgelord take where it's like, oh, Batman can't kill? Well, I'm going to fucking make him kill. It's kind of edgelord It's like, shit, like say, making a Superman movie. I mean, like, I'm going to make him not a good guy. That's his whole thing. Well, he made Superman kill, too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but th- that was more of a... I thought he did that well because that was a conscious decision that he had to make because he was in a situation where he had to save... Yeah other people yeah. and the one thing that he the, the the decision that he makes damages him for the, the the rest of his time in Zack Snyder films but I mean I, I don't know man it just feels a little like Brazen. like is it a little shitty that you're willing to f- fuck the, you know like you're so accurate when it comes to the look of the character it looks exactly like it does in the comics mm-hmm. so why are you fucking their whole lore then? ego yeah, exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. You just it's want your, going, it's you just want your big, ego. greasy fucking fingerprint on it, I guess. Yeah. I want to be um, the guy that made Batman kill. Yeah. So, whatever. And then he also tried to say that uh, Rebel Moon has more more people have watched Rebel Moon than have watched Barbie. Oh, yeah. He tried to huh? do some loophole. Like, he, it was some cope about how, you know, Rebel Moon's dog shit. So, he just basically said, well, Netflix reaches this many countries and has this many streams. And, you know, if there's one subscriber, that, that means usually four people are watching on that one screen. So, you can multiply the streams by four and that's how many people really saw. It was just a massive code. Padding your resume, fucking... Thinking that it in any way impacted a percentage of the impact that Barbie had is... Yeah, it's silly. Genuinely fucking stupid. You know that Oscar-nominated movie, Rebel Moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, some more people might have hit play, maybe in some weird, like, fudging of the numbers that you're doing. For fucking five seconds. And yeah. And they're like, yeah, fuck this stupid shit. But, like, did it have a cultural impact at all besides this was dog shit on Twitter? I didn't have... I didn't see a single positive, yeah. like, 
anything. Yeah, and then he's going to drop a director's cut for it that's like four hours long, too. He cool. talked about that earlier. Jesus. It's not enough that it's a two-parter? Yeah. It's not enough? Yeah, seriously. And as much as I liked Zack Snyder's Justice League, that the, his cut, his four-hour cut of the, the Justice League, it doesn't need to be four fucking hours. It didn't need that. Didn't need it. There's a happy medium somewhere. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I tell you what, they don't need the Icelandic fucking song that they sang for Aquaman when he go when he fucking floats away somewhere. Yeah. That shit was that. so stupid. It was a three minute song. Yeah, that's bad. With multiple verses. Yeah, just a music video in the middle of the movie. I literally don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that either. Really? I mean, vaguely. I don't remember what the song was, but I remember being like, ugh. That's the thing about all Zack Snyder movies is like, I vaguely remember some visuals and almost nothing narratively. Style. Yeah. Style over substance. Yeah. It's a, I mean, it's not a, you know, we've said it a million times. It's not like it makes it a bad movie, but no, you just kind of know yeah. you, what you're getting into. Yeah. Yeah. And well, I don't hate Zack Snyder. I think he deserved to make Justice League. I think he, 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 Man of Steel is one of my favorite superhero movies. I fucking love that movie. It is good. It's good. I liked Batman v Superman, Dawn of mm-hmm. Justice, the ultimate edition. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I liked uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And I thought he had an interesting, um, and he had interesting ways of going about it, but never was I like, oh shit, that's Batman, dude. Mm-hmm. Not until the uh, warehouse scene where he fucking kicks mm-hmm. ass. and That was sick. And Cock rips, punch edition. Rips, rips the guy's dick off, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, cock punch edition. Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse edition. Badhouse, dude. <laughs> Bat cave, bad house. <laughs> Batman, like, well, yeah, we, we recruited a new bouncer. It's just literally Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, shit. I'm not just doing anything. Just broad daylight, just <laughs> in, the, in the bar. Just, <laughs> just fucking yelled <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. If anything, like, <laughs> if anything, the one thing that you could do is, like, have Batman take steroids. You know what I mean? It's sure, like, because Venom. Would, I would be on board with that. Yeah, well, that's like the fucking rage shit. The yeah, I mean yeah, Bane juice. Yeah, Venom. Yeah. See, that's a that's a thing that Batman wouldn't do because he doesn't take drugs or alcohol or fucking any sort of substance. But it's like, but he did. It would make sense for this fucking guy that fights at night for a living to fucking take steroids to heal his body and be stronger and be better. No, I I read I read Venom right before Matt Reeves' Batman came yeah. out, so that's why that was fresh in my mind. Venom is such a fucking great idea. He gets addicted to it. That's literally what it is. And Batman, the fucking, the caped crusader, the fucking, you know, not a Boy Scout, but he's, you know, him taking Venom and getting addicted to it to a point where it creates another fucking monster. Yeah. Like in his head? No, Bane. Oh. Yeah. I thought like there was like a whole different side story with Batman where he gets addicted to Venom and it's no, basically like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying it basically creates like a like an issue with him internally. I didn't know it created Bane. Yeah, right. well, it's it's, it's a both. little more yeah. It's kind of both sides. It's like gotcha. it's, he's addicted to it. He's sick from it, but also you have this monster that is using Venom as well. I see. And he yeah. needs the Venom to fight this fucking monster that is. You know, Venom is flowing through his blood entirely. I don't know. It's a it's cool. It's that a is good cool. parable. But yeah, I brought up trailers because I wanted to talk about trailers we trust to see. The Fede Alvarez Alien trailer, bro. Dude. Fuck my entire There's asshole. There's no way I was not going to watch dude. that. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. Dude, the horror aspects. Of, okay. Let's just say this, dude. Fede Alvarez of uh, Don't Breathe fame, of course. And they, of course, they're like from the director of Don't Breathe. And I didn't think they were going to mention Evil Dead. When they did, Dude. it was like, it was for us. The you know what I'm yeah. saying? Vindication. The cult. Because yeah. I feel like it's getting a cult following recently. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Not when it came out, but like recently people yeah. are going like, yo, this movie fucks. And, and we're anybody- like, we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've, We've been, been streaming sh- from that rooftop. We've for been time. dying on that hill for, for 11 yeah. years. <laughs> for a decade, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But w- that little, like, from the director of Don't Breathe. Mm. And I was like, okay, they're just going to go on to the next thing. But then it was a pause. Evil Dead. I was like, oh, let's fucking go, dude. Dude, it looks so stylistically sim not stylistically sim it looks like the same vibes as Alien, the OG. Yeah. But with Fede Alvarez, I'm so hyped. That's a, that's all I need. Exactly. Bring back the suspense and horror and add some visceral, violent, raw, bloody dude, shit. Dude. Which is what they did. In one of the best shots in this trailer, it's the first shot. It's like one big long take, and they're going through a sh- uh, the ship that's already damaged and fucking all. Like, give the sound design, which is perfect. And then it goes to the pods, which was such a great choice to have the pods. And then it kind of tilts down 
doesn't pan down. It tilts down. Do you even fucking know what that means? You fucking... Hold on, I'm lost. <laughs> Was it a pan or a tilt? It tilts down to see the pod, like, basically filled blood. That was such a perfect analogy of what this movie is going to be. Hopefully. Agreed. But like, it, I think that was just, that was a choice. That was a clear and obvious choice. It's yeah. like, it's alien. It's everything you know and love. Bloody as shit, yeah. dude. Plus blood. <laughs> yeah. I was like, let's fuck it. Like, plus horror. Yeah, totally. I was like, let's fucking absolutely go. Because that's not like the visual of the red bloodstained wall isn't something you see in sort of the lower key alien movies. Like they they are bloody and some of the later ones like Prometheus and Covenant are pretty violent. Pretty, yeah. But blood on white is such a horror movie trope. It's dead space shit. Yeah, yeah it's evil dead. Like we're gonna yeah. get Dude, that. evil dead space. We're gonna get the most <laughs> metal fucking alien movie. Dude, I'm yeah. so that's, fucking I'm hyped. Go- and... <laughs> I watched it, dude. <laughs> I watched it like frame by frame. Like I went through, and yeah. I don't like to do spoilers, but I was, I, I looked, and I was just looking for like, oh, okay, Everything. that's cool. Yeah. The face hugger of a swarm of face hugger. It like, makes was, me want to watch an alien movie when I get home today. Yeah, that's how yeah, hyped dude. I am for it, dude. Yeah, dude, that's gonna be a fucking banger. Hardly know her, dude. I'm going into that theater with Jack Daniels and a line of coke, <laughs> and passing out with my flaccid penis. Don't tell anyone. You're a fucking face hugger, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, face hugger. I'm just. On my lap, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter. <laughs> that trailer is so good, and it doesn't. Yeah. Spoil, I don't think it spoils anything about the the movie. Not really. Oh, an alien will be there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, well, multiple face huggers, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I won't say. I I've read some a few things of, about one like the lore of like where it takes place in the universe, and also there's some early reviews as well. But I don't want to spoil it for you guys unless you want. To, I mean, nah, I asked Josh. Kind of want to go on blind as I can. Yeah. yeah, I I just saw some shit on Twitter. And I was like, well, I can't see that. But yeah. I'm as it's, blind as you can. You say stabs <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go in blind. It's Amelia Bedelia in an R rated movie. <laughs> he wants to go in blind, he says. He's stealing second. I'll call the police. <laughs> Pitchfork to the face. Yeah, I'm ready for that shit, dude. Dude. I want to go into cryo until it comes out. Let's dude. fucking absolutely Hit go away. Hit the South Park we release cryo. <laughs> in Fede we trust, dude. And not to spoil the ending of this episode, but like, god damn, this is going to be another good year of movies too, man. Dude. Yeah. We're only in March and we got two bangers already on my top five. Same. You know, I get you both a hat every year. I also haven't seen you've been wearing any of the hats I've gotten you. Sorry. No. Uh, you got you, me a t-shirt, actually. I didn't, I didn't get a hat. Oh, shit. You're right. But I have gotten you a hat before. And, uh, you know, I could get us all good year hats if, if it's that good of a year this year. If it's anything like last year, we'll all three need good year hats. I had this weird, like, conspiracy tinfoil hat moment where I think they delayed Dune just to get it out, out of the amazing movies that it very well could have been yeah like well let's just delay because oppenheimer and barbie are gonna fucking like take over everything and and now dune 2 is the clear front runner for generational movie yeah it's it's not like it can't compete with those it's just like it would be let's we're looking for an oscar let's not muddy the waters here yeah we're looking for an oscar sweep and i think we should delay it till next year i think that's what actually happened honestly well i'm cool with that because putting up Putting it up against Oppenheimer would have been really tough for me, but now it makes the uh, the case a lot easier. Yeah. If you know what I mean. It would be really sick if a sci-fi movie won Best Picture. I would love that, dude. I mean, this is well-deserved. It's like Two Towers or Return of the King winning, in my opinion. Uh, very much so, because it's, it's an epic. It's not yeah. just yeah. fucking aliens. Yeah, and it's not fucking, Ex Machina. Yeah. Which yeah. arguably is great, but not an Oscar movie. Which we're seeing next Tuesday? Yeah, Wednesday. In next Guy Wednesday? Max. Yeah. Let's well, fucking absolutely. Are you coming? <sighs> nah. I'm ready, dude. I'm sorry. I'm I'm ready as fuck. Wait. 27th, right? Yeah, 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 I can do that. Wait. The Godzilla screening this Tuesday, right? Tuesday, yeah. 7 p.m., yeah. Let's go. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Godzilla Tuesday? 26th, yeah. Godzilla. Zilly Kong. Ape Kong. I Zilly Max. Kong 2. Uh, Lizzie versus a Kong. Lizzie versus which, Kong. which we won't be doing an episode on, but we'll watch it. Have I'm going to go uh, in. Yeah. Uh, I mean, King Kong has a fucking robot glove. I'm watching that. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm not excited for this movie. Big at all. punchy. It looks. I'm only going because you guys wanted to go. I was like, okay. I, I mean, I want, I want King Kong with that metal glove to fight Jake Paul. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> now announcing on YouTube. Dude. Nice. That would be sick. I mean, also, yeah, every Godzilla movie. So. All right. Is that it for Love Lies Bleeding? Sure. Yep. Alrighty. Now we must determine. Whoops. <laughs> Where's <laughs> my fucking thing? <laughs> 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 That's cinema with Marty Scorsese. 
we have to determine whether or not Love Lies Bleeding is in fact cinema or not cinema. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, this is how we say it's good or not, and we rate it. Thumbs up, thumbs down sort of thing. Anyways, uh, for me, it's fucking absolutely cinema. Ah! I'll put that on Front Street. What about you, Alex? I'd say absolutely cinema, ah! dude. Hell yeah, dude. Chris, Turfer, Charles, Chucky Collins, did you have fireball and cocaine and pass out with your flaccid dick? That was me. <laughs> I, ah! caught, I caught a charge. I can't go near any Chuck E. Cheese anymore, but I do and did enjoy the film. A Charles Entertainment cheese, if you will. Yes. Now, uh, is it four, three, four, me? Mm. That, that's the next tier, because we all said it was cinema. That's really good. So now we got to be like, is this the fucking top tier? Is this going in our Criterion Collective Collection closet? This is be-all, end-all, good fucking movie. Was our last episode Dune 2? No, our last episode was... Poor Things. Poor Things. Uh, yes. So that was last year, so it doesn't count. But are we going to have another 2024 top shit already in fucking March? Who knows? Let's friggin' go. Let's find out. Alexander. A- Alex. That's my middle name. Xander. Louisiana Fast Wilson. Thank you. Louisiana Fast Wilson. Yes. Ah! 434 him. Christopher Charles Topher Collins. Absolutely 4 3. Ah! And I will third that. Ah! Fucking 4 3 for us. Congratulations to Rose Glass. <laughs> Congratulations Even to Rose Glass. Even validated by three dudes. <laughs> 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 Who? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Fuck it. What, what do we got? <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck, Fuck it, it, dude. DMT. Let's do DMT. All right. Dumb movie title for Love Lies Bleeding. Who wants to go first? Big mad strong women kill people. Yeah. Nice. In heat. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, don't I was know. like, what? <laughs> What's another crime thriller I can use? Um, scent of a muscular woman. Okay. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, There's something for true romance in there somewhere. I don't know. Swole romance. Mm. What do you fucking got, dude? Don't fucking I, mm, me, dude. You're swinging. I'm just saying. Dude, fuck you, man. Jesus Christ. What is happening? What why the did hell? Get, why did I, I get ten times louder? I don't know. I don't know how that happened. That was weird. <laughs> I don't know. Turn it down. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've got Killer Body and nice. uh, the Handgun Maiden. Nice. Nice. I've got Red is the Warmest Color and nice. Love Lies Bulging. Nice. Nice. And now it's quiet. What is happening? I don't know. Piece of shit. Piece of garbage I shit. I hate this fucking app, dude. Fucking app app. I really do want to just get a brand new app and clean the whole fucking thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean. Cost me <laughs> another $40 or whatever. Fuck. Just take it out of the fund or whatever, right? Yeah, Easy we're, yeah, we're fucking say. rich. Easy for you well, to do say. Do we have $40 somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We sold one t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Actor game Kristen Stewart? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, uh, fuck. After game, Chris is here. We have to name every movie she's been in. That's the whole fucking point of the game. I'll go first and say Love Lies Bleeding. Twilight. Spencer. Hardly know her. I fucking love that movie. Uh, Underwater. Nice. Good movie. Solid movie with her in it. Charlie's Angels. Panic Room. (laughs) Oh, fuck. You shouldn't moan like that. She's only... Oh. No, I mo- <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 right, Dan Schneider. <laughs> I was disappointed that he got it, and I was saving that one. Uh, Kristen Stewart was also in. I'm out. Christine Stewart. Christine Stewart. <laughs> oh <Kristen> fuck! Stewart. <laughs> fuck! I know one now. <laughs> that guy in the fucking pit just. Um, Christine Stewart. Christine Stewart. Fuck me, dude. I'm so mad. Oh, God. I can't picture. Fuck me! Ah! I can't picture I have her two. in anything but this right now. I have two. Can I come back in? Can I jump back in? No. Nope. You, of course you, you can't. You proclaimed you're out. <laughs> <laughs> of course you cannot can. do that. <laughs> Can I cheat? Can I cheat? I'm out. 
Yeah, I'm not too. What Ad- are yours? Adventure Time and Snow White and the Huntsman. I win still. <laughs> <laughs> I win still because I had a couple. I was out, but then I had some. That's like showing up to someone's house after you lose a boxing match and be like, I want to go again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting it wrong on like who wants to be a millionaire and be like, no, I know it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after you said it, now I know no, it. No, fuck. Uh, thanks for listening with our so many movies. Check out Love Lies Bleeding. If you listen to all this and you haven't seen it, that's weird. Yeah, fuck you. You're a weirdo for that. Love Lies B. Oh, shit. Love Lies Being. Love Lies Bioinging. <laughs> <laughs> Love Lies Bioinging, dude. <laughs> uh, check out St. Mod. Five bucks a month on Patreon as well. Tell a friend about us. Later, Toads. B. Bioinging.